Octavio's puppet show is about to start at any minute. The stage is set and the lights are out. It'll be here in a moment. Turn that frown upside down. You don't need that where we're going. Welcome to the greatest puppet show in all the planets. Happy birthday, Taylor Swift! Happy birthday, Taylor Swift! Happy birthday, Taylor Swift! Let's go! <laughs> hello, what's going on, everybody? What's up? Uh, also, people from Rayless's stream, hello! Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are having a good day. Also, of course, to my Octoposse, both old and new Octoposse, welcome, welcome! But everybody, let's say happy birthday, our queen, our mother. And the queen and our mother is very, very generous, right? She is a generous mother for she dropped the Eras Tour extended version somewhere. I don't know, Amazon Prime? I don't know, <laughs> Netflix? I, I, I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. It's somewhere. But hey, everybody. Hope you guys didn't miss me too much. After my three-day break, right? Oh, what if, right? What if memberships are going to happen at the end of the week, right? Memberships are going to happen. What if our very first friggin' membership watch-along <laughs> is the Era Store <laughs> extended version? <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know how that's going to happen. I, I need to ask uh, Mami-chan. <laughs> Like, what's up with the copyright for that? <laughs> the DMCA? Will we... Uh, I mean, I know that we can't really watch the... The video on stream, right? I can only, like, record the reaction. Like, silence and just my reaction. That would, that would, be, that would be a thing. <laughs> but hello! Everybody, old and new. And those who just came here from Ray Rayless' stream. Let me introduce myself once again. I... I'm Octavio, the opulent, octatonic, operatic puppeteer from Bounty Hunter Unit Armis of Holostar's English. Nice to meet ya! And also, let me greet a few people in chat. Let's go! In one, two, three, uh, miscellaneous Dan. What's up? I mean, I mean Misk Dan. What's going on? Welcome. Uh, Janny wasn't there, wasn't here. Thank you. Uh, welcome, welcome to the stream. Hajime0813, welcome as well. Uh, Echo Lux, what's going on? How is you? How is you? Um, Mori Moririan, hello. Hello to you too. Thanks for the hearts. Did you do the hearts? I don't know. Also, uh, Vev, thank you so much for joining in. And lastly, let's see Shio. Welcome. And one more, Kaya. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you for joining in, guys. And also, Evie, thanks so much for the super. Let me read that. Supa, happy birthday to your mother, Taylor. Yes, happy birthday to all our mothers. Taylor Swift, thank you for uh, gracing us with such amazing music. Tay Tay. And also, I know a few of you have seen Crimson Ruse's tweet on Twitter where he greet Taylor Swift an hour earlier than me. But just know, just know. I greeted Taylor Swift hours earlier, just in my mind, and in my heart, and in my soul. <laughs> now, Ruse, Ruse, whatever. He has, he has the advan advantage of being, like, maybe, maybe around the same time frame as Taylor. I don't know. I don't. I have to be like, I, wh where the heck is Taylor anyway? PST? EST? CST? Mountain standard time? That's a thing, right? As well. I don't know. So. No, I did it first in my heart. Okay? I did it first. Blah, 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 blah. But. <sighs> what a, what a, 
what a weird time. That was so annoying because I was going home yesterday. I was on the drive home. And the drive home is like hours upon hours upon hours. And the moment I saw the Crimson Ruse's tweet, I was like, no, no, I had to tweet out. I had to, I had to fight him on Twitter. And so I did on Twitter X, whatever. And so I did, right? I even freaking shared the Tema gifts, right? Then literally minutes after all of that, my phone died. My phone died and I wanted to fight more, but I can't anymore because my phone was dead. So. I came home and the fight was over. And Crimson Ruse did the whole Tay Tay whatever thing. I slept. It was I, I got home around what? 3 a.m.? Jesus. <laughs> I got home around 2, 2.30, and I was like, no, I need to do my idle homework, waiting room, thumbnail, stuff, reply to mommy -chan. and friggin' <laughs> some tweets here and there. Um, but yeah, for those who don't know, I went on a super short three-day break, right? Um, it was a nice little break. It was a break that was gonna happen no matter if I got into Hollow Stars or not, so it's not like I was super tired. Or something, and instead of went on a break, yeah. Um, but it was a nice three days of just relaxation and just nice weather, and a lot of food as well. Uh, let's see. Mm, the place we stayed at was really was really cool, actually. Um, the way I would describe it is maximalist AF. <laughs> um, the whole theme of the place we stayed at was everything, everything. Anything and everything, just put it there. Put it in there, right? There are no... There are no two chairs that are the same. There are no two cups that are the same. <laughs> there are no two things anywhere in that place that is the same. Which is pretty cool, actually. Um, honestly, I do prefer that over uh, minimalism, right? I mean, there's good minimalism, but... Sometimes minimalism can feel a bit boring, right? You know how minimalism is just clean, just l literally clean walls, nothing in the house. <laughs> Maybe a chair. Oh, do you know that meme where it's like, <laughs> it's, it's this big ass room, right? It's carpeted. Then there's just one sofa chair in the middle and a TV. <laughs> minimalism at its finest, right? Yeah, there was a time when I liked minimalism, but definitely not anymore. <laughs> the thing about minimalism is uh, it kind of doesn't feel lived in. The house doesn't feel lived in, right? Yeah, that's a male living space, exactly. Feel so boring, feel like I'm in a hospital. Organized chaotic color for clutter, clutter is my gem, yeah. That's pretty great. Okay, I see you, South Elysium Internet Company. Temporarily gave Ruse faster internet than you for... Oh, thank you so much. South uh, Elysium Internet Company. Um, I know the boys have scrounged up funds the past few days. Um, <laughs> the past few days, we have been asking for alms on the street <laughs> after the embarrassing events that transpired during the Apex Customs. <laughs> oh, by the way, wait, 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 wait. wait. Um, I guess it's my turn. It's my turn. I haven't addressed. I need to address it myself as well. You know, I need to do it. Although, here's the thing. Dur okay, so for those who aren't uh, caught up, during the Apex Customs, me, Ruse, and Gerard joined the game. Okay? There are a bunch of games. There are rules. And it was a game. It was like a tournament between Niji and Hollow. It's the first of its kind, right? And... I have to say, I was not in the vicinity when this happened, okay? I was not in the vicinity, but, but, I freaking laughed with them when it happened. <laughs> when Ruse killed Ollie, <laughs> although I wasn't there, I was running for my life, right? I do share... In the <laughs> in the blame kinda, just because I was also laughing my ass off a little bit. <laughs> so I didn't kill Ollie. It was Ruse, but I was still part of the team. Okay, so I'm sorry for breaking the rules on behalf of Gerard and Crimson Ruse. Okay, 
Um, but damn, you know what? I'm just thankful that it's uh, it happened between at least us within the same like Hollow Live, Hollow Stars, Hollow ID umbrella. Because uh, it would have been so terrible if we did it to someone in Niji Sanji. I mean, no. no! Well, technically, Albin was there, though. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, uh, uh, fortunately, Ali, I mean, uh, Gerard already paid for our crimes uh, by doing an Apex stream with Ali Senpai. So that's good. That's good and well. But... Uh, definitely do watch the Kalimba Kalimba clip. I'm actually thinking of doing a full, um, full version of the Kalimba apology video, where I basically just make a tune on my guitar, then I kind of produce it, make an instrumental, <laughs> uh, make an instrumental, and do like a freaking mix and master of it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was thinking about that while on the drive home, actually. Yeah. That'd be super cool, actually. You know what? I'll, I'll do it. Maybe. Don't don't quote me on this. Don't clip this. Kalimba Apology Full MV. <laughs> Maybe I should make a full MV as well. Uh, Kalimba Apology Octavio's version, exactly. Add Gerard's cries from his co- <laughs> Maybe I should, I should, I should. I haven't actually watched the collab yet because it happened during the drive home. The terrible drive home. But it was a drive home nonetheless. How many instruments do you have? Let's see. I have like, um... Through the years, at least, I had a, of course, an acoustic guitar. Then I got an electric guitar at some point. I got a bass guitar at some point as well. Um... I got a flute. At some point, I uh, the only the only song I know how to play on the flute is like a song by Westlife. <laughs> um, I have a kalimba. I have a oh, uh, long ago, me and my friend got a um twelve string guitar, which was fun to play as well. Twelve strings. It's a it was a bit hard to play it. Um, right now I have a classical guitar though. I do love the sound of the nylon and the classical guitar, but it is a bit hard to play just because uh, the the bridge is so wide, right? A Westlife song is the most random song to know on the flute. Oh, no, because uh, in school we had to play it. <laughs> Damn, for our music class. What was that song again? On this day, I love you forever. On this day. I surrender my heart. Something like that. Those are the licks for that. Yeah. So I know that. On flute. Not anymore though. Not anymore. I don't even have, flute, have a flute anymore. Right. I tried getting into... Oh wait. I do know piano as well. Um, not too much anymore. Ever since I told my mom. No! No, mom! You can't force me to play piano anymore. Um... I did try to learn violin. I tried. It was difficult. I don't know if it was just me or if it was the the violin I used. It might have been the violin I used. <laughs> because because I wanted to I wanted to get into violin, but I didn't want to spend on a violin, so I got the cheapest violin I can find. And nope, it's it's hard. I can't. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. You know how when you're a kid, your parents like to, um, for example, they want to get you. You kind of want to get into guitar and they're like, OK, let's buy you a guitar. And then they buy you a small mini guitar instead of the real full guitar. And then you play that and it's not as fun. Then suddenly you get your hands on a real guitar and damn, it's so fun. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's called saving money. You're right. <laughs> it's called saving money for a passion that your kid isn't even sure about yet. <laughs> uh, it's not, it, was, it wasn't even a ukulele. I, I do have a ukulele as well. <clears throat> but it's one of those cheap ukuleles. You know, I just wanted to try it. Um... 
I guess I just keep trying new instruments and just like... <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah, it's a smart way to suss out if your kids... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I have a friend who... <laughs> I don't know if I should share this. <laughs> no, probably not. But anyway, I think they watched Wednesday and they were like, Dad, get me a cello. <laughs> Oh, turn it for what official? What's up? A shout out to y'all kicking my hubris and eye gear. I just made a kind of mini ARG about Armis. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Oh, interesting. But thank you for the super. Thank you. Also, Aries in, in like fifth grade, my entire class is forced to learn violin. Like third week, I dropped and broke. The oh no, oh no, the rage quit. <laughs> But thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. No, the rage quit. <laughs> well, that's kind of that kind of sucks, right? Because it, violin is such a specific, such a niche specific instrument. I feel like that it's it's hard to make to mass produce violinist. <laughs> um, but yeah, the cello. <laughs> They're like really small still. They're like maybe I don't know, ten a ten year old killer kid or something. Like, Dad, get me a cello! And they got they got her a cello and oh boy. Oh boy. What a big ass instrument. And you're not even sure if they're into it. If they'll be into it. Or maybe it's just a freaking <laughs> phase after watching Wednesday. Who knows anymore? Though I did watch Wednesday. And I found it good. I don't know much about Adam's family, but I did enjoy Wednesday. <laughs> then it becomes a home decoration, exactly. The one thing I really wanted to learn was drums, right? Well, not really. The thing about drums is, I guess there was a time where I went to my classmate's house and we were practicing like our band stuff, right? Then the guy had drums. And he was, he was, he was so good at freaking drums. Then I tried it myself and was like, nope, what? How, how do I coordinate my hands? How? But for that whole day, I tried my best <laughs> to learn how to do that. But it's, it was so hard. The thing about drums also, I guess, especially back then, <laughs> back then, like a hundred years ago, <laughs> um, is that the digital drums didn't really exist yet, right? So I guess you have to have a full drum kit at home. And who the heck has a full drum kit at home where your parents are like, okay with it? Who has that? <laughs> I mean, a lot of people have that, but damn, right? Drums make you think about your tempo all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true, that's true. <clears throat> drum, drumists? Drummerists are really, really impressive, like crazy. Um, especially the videos on YouTube where they like, especially they're like weird time signatures, right? Where the drummerists are just so good at it. And I'm like, oh, I can't follow this time signature. No way. Shigdjitjur. Did you ever play with a cajon? 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 Uh, uh, probably not. The only cajon I know is a box. You have to be good at isolating movements. Yeah, true. Someone's whole drum kit is their entire kitchen pot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> percussion. Oh, yeah, I did at least try percussion. I mean, percussion, like the typical whatever in percussion is easy, but not the complicated stuff. Um, But that was like the typical way to do like performances, right? You got an acoustic guitar and a percussion thing, you know, like a box. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, you know, one video. Please search it. Let me search what Cajon is. Cajon. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is what you're talking about. Yeah, this is what I was talking about with the percussion. I don't I don't actually know what it's called. I guess it's a Cajon. Yeah. It's a, this percussion instrument. Yeah. Oh, we have a good stream. Was ghosting in the chat when you did the karaoke stream. That was about. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, oh man. Speaking of karaoke, um, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Even the rebroadcast, I was so surprised at the amount of people that were there during the rebroadcast. Um, but the thing is, the thing is, now I'm heckin', I Now I heckin' feel pressured. 
<laughs> now the pressure is real. Now I feel like I need to top my emo karaoke some way. <laughs> um, but do know that I do have some ideas. Yeah. Also, um, Mamichan just messaged me the other day that they they want us to try experimenting on with a vertical, vertical streaming on YouTube. And I saw Altair Senpai do that earlier. And also, the other stream I saw was Ryo Senpai's... Um, Ryo Senpai's vertical uh, karaoke stream as well. And also Izuru Senpai, yeah. And... It's actually pretty interesting, right? It's... It isn't as nice when you watch it on... You know, on... Um, on a monitor. Like a computer monitor, right? But when you watch it on your phone... It's kind of... Uh, <laughs> I feel like... I feel like there's like a... Immersive element to it. It's like you're talking... It's like you're talking to your Oshi. <laughs> on your phone. Right? Yeah, vertical. As in like the vertical... Uh, like a TikTok. Or a YouTube short. But it's a live stream. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested because... um, What do you call this? I'm interested because Betel is going to be doing a vertical NPC stream? <laughs> is he really going to do... Wait, what is that? Is that today? Is he going to be like... Ha! Ha! Thank you for the glizzy! Ha! Thank you for the glizzy! Initiating glizzy overdrive! <laughs> He's giving samples. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. Is it a membership stream? I hope not. <laughs> Will we have an Octavio NPC stream? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, Actually, I've been thinking... The thing is, if I... <sighs> It, it probably is not. Thank you for the glizzy, kiss me, Nightingale. It's probably not. <laughs> it's not probably not healthy for me. But when I when Mamichan told me about the vertical thing, the only thing I can think of is how can I make it a little bit more. Um, how can I take advantage of the vertical thing? I think I have an idea, but you'll see it. Maybe in a few weeks, you'll see it. We'll see. I I need. I need to keep thinking of how to make use of it. <laughs> hey, Eevee, thank you for the glizzy! Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, oh, uh, yeah, membership teaser, please? Okay. Let's see. So, membership stream is gonna happen this Sunday. Damn, wait, this is supposed to be a game stream. Game stream! What are we talking about? Um, here's a membership teaser, I guess. You know, no, it's not. At least for the stream itself, right? It's we're just gonna be making. Basically, we're gonna be writing letters to um, all the members of Stars En. Yeah, I'll just be writing, you know, Christmas letters. So it's gonna be nice. And I figured, you know what? We're in, you know, memberships and stuff. You know, membership. There's gift giving. So I wanted to get into the, you know, spirit of Christmas. You know, more tap into that because, you know, it's it's a Christmas time. And you know how Betel is like, oh, I don't feel the Christmas spirit. Well, ugh, here is me trying to freaking push the Christmas spirit into all of you. Okay? Get into the Christmas spirit. Do it. I don't have money to put up decorations in my house, but goddamn. I love Christmas. <laughs> um... Actually, there was a I had a, I had a very spicy time in my life where I was always so annoyed at people that are like, you know how when Christmas time starts, um, especially back in like Facebook or whatever, people will always be like, oh, I'm so sad, I'm so sad, and I'm like, listen to some music, listen to Michael Bublé, let's do it, get into the Christmas spirit, you can do it. But there's something about Christmas which I guess makes. You know, people kind of feel... I don't feel sad, I guess. 
You know, we have again, we have different situations and stuff. Yo, Hajime, thank you for the thank you for the supa. Thank you, thank you. Um so I hope that the membership stream and wink wink, a full on freaking Christmas karaoke will get you guys into a uh, into the Christmas spirit, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, end of the year depression, exactly, exactly. It, it's the thing that happens. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what's up. Let's get people into the spirit. So for the membership stream, yeah, it is going to be a hand cam as well. Um because we're going to be we're going to be writing physical letters. Mhm. Mm Yo Michi, thank you for the glizzy. And you know what? Whatever. I'm just I'm just going to say it. We're going to write letters, then we're going to visit we'll see. We're going to visit the members of Tempest and Vanguard and Armis and we're going to give them their letters. And then we're going to sing to them. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're literally going to go Christmas caroling and letter giving. Right? How that's going to happen, you just have to see. You just have to see. <laughs> um, what's the plan for Minecraft stream tomorrow? Oh, guys, I, did, I watched a bit of Gerard's Minecraft show. Oh, my God. I'm kind of scared now. I'm kind of scared. Hopefully, I don't wake up in a pile of lava as well. In a puddle of lava. But we'll see. Yeah, for Minecraft tomorrow, it's just... it's. I think it's just going to be like a Zatsu, Minecraft Zatsu thing. Where I'm just going to build stuff in our desert. Because, of course, we have a desert again. I still don't know what to do, actually. I'm kind of scared because I have the, the gifts that my senpais gave to me are still in my inventory. So, I don't know if that was a bad idea or a good idea to have it on my person. Because I might die or something like that. Gerard died by his own stupidity. I guess I'm going to build in the desert. Yeah, so we can all be neighbors, right? Was it you who put the lava on the resp <laughs> I don't know. I haven't logged in since <laughs> since the freaking um, tour. Yeah. He visited lava. Oh, I see. No, I haven't logged in yet. It's going to be my literal first time logging in ever since the tour tomorrow. I could build a theater, yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I can even wrap my head around building anything in that game. A bit of griefing was had. So what happened there? Did someone like put lava in a spawn point? Who is it? Who did it? Did anybody come forth yet? House is built on sand. Oh no. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you get lots of cats. Are there dogs in that too? I want a dog. I want a pig. I want a goat. I want a cow. <laughs> Gerard started building the toilet. Oh no. Still a mystery, but Flay and a sus. Oh no. Oh, one thing I do want to do though is I want to go to the casino and spend all the diamonds, diamonds, diamonds they gave me. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, chat. The casino is a special place to me. It's not for any spicy reasons or any illegal things or whatever, okay? It's a special place to me because... <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Um... I've never been I've never been ID'd in my life, okay? I've never been asked for an ID to confirm my age. Okay, but this just this year, I think it was this year or last year, I went to a casino and the guard was like, um, when is your birthday? What is your age? <laughs> Can you show me your ID? I was like, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? And I gave her the ID. I was like, I'm the happiest person in the world right now. <laughs> So yeah, thank you, Casino. You're great. Amazing. I am I am an adult man, 23 years old. I've been 23 years old for a long time. <laughs> no way, no way you're saying that short debuff. No way. No way. 
Now back then, I remember when I was with my with my dad, we, we went to a. I was still, I was still, you know, not an adult then. We went to a movie theater, and we watched a James Bond movie, and I think I needed to be above fourteen or something, above sixteen or something like that, and I was able to get in, no problem. <laughs> they were like, "Yeah, this guy is this guy is definitely twenty three, not 16. <laughs> Uh, this is this is literally the first time I was asked for an ID in a casino. So casinos are a special place to me. And also, in casinos, I don't pretty much I really don't care too much about slots, right? Slots or whatever, huh? What I care about is the horse game, right? You guys know that the horse racing game. <laughs> I had. 2,000 South Elysian coins in my pocket and I went to the casino I was ID'd at the entrance and I went straight for the horse game it's a horse <laughs> please explain it's basically just horse racing but it was digital it's digital horses right 2,000 Elysian coins in my pocket the horse game in front of me a bunch of horses to choose from right <laughs> yeah, you basically bet on horses. It's great because the horses have like their own stats. They have I don't know speed, whatever speed, health, health. Um, even the riders have stats, and they also have records. There's also trends if they're winning, if they've been winning races or not. And two thousand leads in coins spent twelve hours. <laughs> Spent 12 hours. Imagine that, all right? Imagine that. Horsies, digital horsies. <laughs> In a casino. Lots of people smoking. <laughs> Lots of people smoking. There are free drinks. I drank a bunch of milk. I drank a bunch of chocolate milk. I drank a bunch of iced tea. A bunch of Coca Cola. <laughs> A bunch of milk tea, iced coffee. <laughs> ah. Yeah, there's milk, fresh milk in a casino. People do that at a digital horse race? Uh, kinda. One second, one second, one second. Whoops, it was my dog, it was my dog. <laughs> my dog is my dog got stuck in a freaking wire. My dog is really scared of wires. And when he gets caught in a wire, he just runs away and just bu like pulls everything with him. Yeah. Hey Trixie! Thank you for the super. Neil got kicked out of casino bots because they thought I was underage. No! Having a Miyabi Gurumi attached to my bag. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Of course he brought Miyabi Senpai to a casino. Onion collab, maybe in the future. If he, if he, um, if he's open to collabing, if Onion is open to collabing, I don't know. He's pretty, he has pretty high standards. But did you win? No, I did not win. Of course not. <laughs> 2,000 South Elysian coins. It got up to around 4,000. Then back to 2,000, back to 500, back to 200, then back, got back to 2,000 again. 2,500, then back down to 200. And then finally, it was all out. See? Technically, I saved. <laughs> Technically, I was able to save in that casino. I only spent 2000 <laughs> I'm not talking about Western Elysian coins, okay? I'm t or mag coins, I think it's what they, what they were called before. I'm talking about South Elysian coins. <laughs> Uh, you know how to gamble probably You know what? It's just- it was just so freaking Not addicting. It was so nice to play. It was so good to play because it had all the stats. It was like a video game, right? And lots of free drinks. Lots of free drinks. <laughs> Madcoin crashed a long time ago. If you ever run out of money, you still have two kids. You're right, you're right. The thing is, um, then whenever I go back to freaking casinos, I just spend like 
1k on the horse race. I don't do the slot machines. The slot machines are dangerous. The slot machines are dangerous. They they take so much money in so little time. No way. Do you consider you lucky with gambling? Nah, not me. My mom though is super lucky. Not with gambling stuff, but more of just lucky in general. She's won like from way, 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 way back when. Whenever she'd go to a uh, raffle or something like that. She won like a TV, a big, a nice CRT TV, which I played my PlayStation 2 games on. Thank you, mom. She won an induction cooker back when induction cookers were new. <clears throat> then she actually organized a raffle um, for this group she has. You know, you know how old people are. They have little groups. <laughs> they have their own little cliques and groups, right? She organized a raffle, and she donated like a, um, I think a microwave? It was a microwave or something, right? It's either a microwave or something more, I don't remember. And then, and then, <laughs> still Zatsu, <no. laughs> shut up, shut up. <laughs> Old people everywhere, shut up. Um, so... And she won, and she still won the first prize in that raffle. It's crazy. What's going on? I also remember that time. That was New Year. That was New Year's. I was still a little, a little wee little boy back then. Okay, twenty three years old, young, supple, fresh, moisturized, right? And it was New Year, and I was holding a, I don't know what the, what it's called. You know the sparklers. Right? <clears throat> the sparklers. It's stronger than a normal sparkler. It, it's like a jet engine. Right? It's like a it's like a jet engine version of a sparkler. Right? I use that. I turn it on. I was holding it. I was having a fun time. Right? Then for some reason I inhaled the smoke. And the smoke really just went deep down into my lungs. And I was like, oh no, I'm gonna die! <laughs> then fortunately we were close to like a you know a statue that people worship during that time so I went straight to that statue and I was like please don't let me die I don't want to die yet <laughs> and I think it worked because I'm still here I'm still alive <laughs> oh my god that was the first death scare in my life. I thought I was gonna die because I inhaled a bunch of smoke from fireworks. I was gonna die and my mom just won a microwave. No way, that's gonna happen. No. <laughs> so thank, thank, thank that statue. That statue really... <laughs> let me live. And now I'm here, thank you. Read some ebooks or some videos you want to head start. I will try and catch the stream tomorrow. Uh, oh, God, this becomes a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, I was really thinking about doing... A God damn it, we need to play the game! Wait! Wait! Okay. But basically, what I was going to say is I really want to do a book club in the future. Because recently, I've been getting into books, right? I haven't been into books for a long, long time. Until, like, a few months ago. Until a few months ago... Where I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read Mistborn one two three four. I'm gonna read Wheel of Time one two three, and you know, I was like, oh damn, I'm into books. Ah, oh, I'm such a book person. I'm such a bookworm. I'm so elitist now. <laughs> I read books. I don't just play games. I read the books because I couldn't play games because you know, I want to play the games here in Hall of Stars. So I freaking started reading books. But now that I'm in Hall of Stars and I'm playing games again, somehow I don't have time for books. <laughs> but I will make time. I will make time. Uh, do you have a fave book to read? Wheel of Time is so good. Yeah. Um, I'm having a hard time getting into Mistborn Era 2. Just because I love Era 1 so much. But Era 2 was still... I mean, the first book of Era 2 was still, still super fun. I feel like I like it more once I finish Era 2. I have a feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Diary of Wimpy, Wimpy Kid. I see, I see. Always make time for the things you love. You're right, you're right. All right, I think we should play the game now. Um, let's see. Let's play the game. Damn, I spent way too much time talking and listening to this violin -y music. What is wrong with me? Why am I like this? Um, I'm not a boy failure, though, because I am successful at doing things for a long time. Not Haka calling me a long, long man earlier. Like a long man in his pupper, paparazzi stream. So Octavio, do you know that you're really, really long? I was like, huh? What? What the heck are you on about? <clears throat> Finally. Wait, wait. Where's the music? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, by the way. Let me let me orient you first, guys, as to what a DDD XP means in this uh, economy. Okay, I made a whole freaking hullabaloo about DDD XP and stuff. But here's the thing: I love RPGs so much, right? JRPGs, they're my they're my main jam. Okay, they're my main guys. JRPGs. So DDD XP basically deep dangerous deep dive playthroughs of games. Uh, for games I truly, truly love, like Final Fantasy, um, Nier Automata, you know, stuff like that. And what I'm gonna do, what this is gonna be basically, is it's gonna be <laughs> it might be the slowest damn playthrough of this game you have ever seen. Okay? Here's what I do when I do a freaking DDD XP. We read everything, we look into everything, well, as much as we can. We look at everything, we read everything, we experience everything. Um, we bust out a whiteboard if we need it, if we need to, right? The streams are also going to be long, as long as I can, right? Um, even item description, we're going to read what a potion is about, what it's like, what it looks like. You know, stuff like that. Just because um, I really want to just appreciate, like, all the hard work that goes into games like this. Because I love them so much. My chair, my chair uh, there's a picture. No. No. Don't don't tease me with a picture. Oh, no. Um, but, yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure this is... These kinds of streams are going to be, I guess, not really nice in terms of viewership. But, honestly, these playthroughs are just going to be, like, passion playthroughs for me. Right? Uh, these are games just that I just really, really love. And what I plan to do is have at least one long playthrough uh, of a game per week. Then sprinkle it with smaller games here and there. And maybe a short to medium game also as well. Then also, of, of course, the fun experimental streams and collabs and stuff, right? But I need, I need one long game to do every week. So... If you're into that, then that's great. Um, one way you can use this stream is you can keep me on like a radio to keep you company, if you like. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool as well. And yeah, so finally we're gonna be playing Final Fantasy 16. Um, I've been waiting ever since June to play this. I actually wanted to play the Final Fantasy mode of this because I know that people have said that the game is really easy. And my problem with JRPGs is that here's, okay. I'm not gonna keep this super long, but my problem with a lot of JRPGs is I hate that they punish me for doing everything in the game. They punish me in a way that when I reach a final boss, they become really heckin' easy, right? <laughs> they become really easy, and it's annoying because I want the game to be hard, but I also want to do everything. I remember when I played Fire Emblem Three Houses, right? <laughs> You know those missions that you can just do over and over? I just do it over and over and over again until I'm over leveled and stuff. Then at the end of the game, it's like, but please wrap it up. <laughs> okay, I will, I will. Oh, I'll tear, I'll tear senpai. Hello, thank you, thank you. But yeah, free house is super good. I, uh, which is why I re stop it. I really love. I was gonna say I really love Fire Emblem Engage just because it, w it felt difficult until the end. Um something 
something like that. Uh, okay. FF was never hard though. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I really wanted to play the Final Fantasy mode of this. But uh, that means I have to finish the game on action first, then do Final Fantasy. And I don't know if I if it's a good idea to do that on stream. I'm a three houses fire emblem. Yes, yes. Actually, I remember when you debuted and I saw your mom. I was like, ah, fire emblem. Ah! That's super cool. That's super cool. Ah, why are you super cool? Stop it. Stop being cool. Also, great karaoke earlier, uh, senpai. I I really really enjoyed it. I really love the part when you sang that. I forgot the title, but it was a it was a. It was a song from a cartoon, I think. I don't even know the cartoon, but I have it in my Spotify playlist. It's so good. <clears throat> okay, new game. Let's do it. What difficulty? I just played on hard. I don't. I can't really do like the maddening stuff. Oh, I missed a Taylor Swift, maybe. Ah, no, no! And it's an archive, no! I got up to the Ed Sheeran one. Bad habits lead to you. I didn't sing it, Ed Sheeran. You can't bonk me. You can't bonk me. Okay. Let's do it. New game. Mm. I think I sent this. Action focused. Ah. Oh. Story for action focused. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, let's do it. Ah! Oh! I love FF14 as well. I can't wait to finally get into this. Let's do it! It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Valisthea is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. What's that red little that it was this light thing doing there? Which is that gonna drop from the sky? Out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation temptation totally not dalamud exactly ever lures us back into the crystal shadow and thus did our journey begin Ooh, ooh! it's a freak versus phoenix this is what the trailers prophesized all this music ah Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so many things going on! <laughs> what is this, Final Fantasy or God of War? Yo! Hey yo! It's a freaking Panzer Dragoon thing? Come on. Come on, Efreet. I can't believe I'm playing this. Uh, evade? From what? Ah, crap. Okay. Nah, you can't get me. Well, one thing I really loved about Nier Automata 2 is it varies the gameplay. Nah! See? Barrel roll. Uh! Ouch. <clears throat> Oh, we've fallen. We've fallen. Ooh. Ooh. Holy sh... Holy moly. <laughs> this intro goes way too hard. What is this? What is this insane opening? <laughs> So hot. Clive is so hot. As he should be. The only thing Clive is missing is braids. <clears throat> You're gonna cover this song? Maybe. I definitely do wanna make a cover of um of a more operatic style. I don't think it has it been done yet in stars. Not yet, I think. 
but I'm not sure. <clears throat> It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to away. Stir. Oh, so that's what you were talking about. Away. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant, and only the dominant. No one else. I know that line from the trailers. Where's the fun in that? <clears throat> How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Look at that Kingdom Hearts tattoo. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's probably not Kingdom Hearts anything, but... <laughs> Let's get this done. <laughs> it looks like an emblem of like a, I don't know, a nobody. Or whatever. Koji Fox. <laughs> Look at the cage mentioned done. Stop it. Shut up. <laughs> I hope I get Final Fantasy VII Remake perms. Unfortunately, we don't have seven remake perms. <clears throat> That's sad. Focus. Wyvern. But we'll see. Hopefully by rebirth. You are key to this mission's success. Oh, he's looking at me. POV. Yes, Sergeant. Hmm. Oh, I'm I playing the game. <laughs> I'm playing the game. Use L to move Wyvern. Oh, so I'm a Wyvern. Okay. Look at that. At any time. Okay. Let's look at the main menu. Uh. Additional content can be redeemed from system. A chance encounter. Okay. Uh, Axel did say he managed to get original F7. Oh, so he was the one they got at. Yeah. Hopefully, I hope that it's just a matter of people requesting it. Um. So we'll see. Especially by rebirth. I'm hopeful that we can get perms for Remake and Rebirth by Feb. Let's see. Okay. This is a nice little menu screen. We don't oh, it takes a little screenshot of the, of the game of where you are, I guess. To break loose. They aren't letting anyone of the core play it. Yeah. Especially Kingdom Hearts. Nah. Kingdom Hearts is going to be difficult, but I'm still going to keep requesting it. Yeah. Of course. Especially when new games come out, I feel like those are like the prime times to get some perms in. Speaker names might be good. You're right, you're right. I did see that earlier. Yeah, but I'm not too miffed about not getting specific um, perms. There's so many games out there. Uh, you know, you know what I just got perms for? You know what? Vanquish! Oh my god, I, I was not hopeful for Vanquish because it's, a, it's such an old game. Oh, Flayon, thanks so much for the redirect. Thank you, thank you. How was your stream? How was White Album? Welcome, welcome, Macaroons. Welcome to the stream. We're playing Final Fantasy 16. Again, if you don't know me, I am Octavio, the opulent octatonic operatic puppeteer. Bounty Hunter Unit Armist of Hallstar's English. Well, there it is. There it is. Flayon already introduced me in chat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to move. So, fully to run. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I've been super excited to finally play this game. Um, leading up to my debut in Hallstar. So, yes! Time. Biased is his name. Biast? Biast! Sure, we can play F14 sometime. <laughs> when I, I need to download the game again. One day, I'm gonna monk it up. Ooh. Look at this. Chocobos! Chocobros! Ugh. Look at that magical boulder. Is that an ice boulder or a thunder? 
Or is that ruin? Oh, maybe just ether. I see. I see. It's a rock. <laughs> Why this is going? Okay. They won't need this new dominant of theirs. What? Big ass Blazara. <laughs> but Boulder is also a rock leader. <laughs> I'm not gonna attempt to understand Regis Altair's mind. If it's a rock to him, then it probably is. Quickly, move! Ooh. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? <laughs> Come now, Marshal. The King of Walud is our guest. Walud. Damn! Look at you. Why are you so dark and groomy? Gloomy? Gloomy? Brooding? And you have His Majesty's answer. Eh? <sighs> not groomy. No, not groomy. <laughs> he even has a translator that translates his grunts. Hot. Thank you. I have smelled I a bunch of smoke in the casino all. a have few so months ago. Faith in your own men? Mm. It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders bark, bark. in the Battle of the Twin <laughs> Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides. Your dominant bark, has bark as well. Field. Wait, her name's Royal Attaché. Our knights would only get in the way. Oh, I love the accent too. Perhaps you have. Reminds me of um. The Iron Blood now have their own Viera. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger the knights. Whoa, 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 whoa! Did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Damn. Whatever you say, Crimson Ruse. Which just leaves me. Why do you look so pretty? The Iron it's my Lord braids. Will rule the day they set foot on storm. This game is over. No, it's just starting. Ah! I love them already. I want them to win. All the wars they want to win. You cock. Ayo? <laughs> huh? Benedict. Why does he look so cute? Hey. <sighs> take care. Does what are the they doing? Take care when he chases the hair. What do you think me one of the latter? No, Is she injured? Love. You are a lion. You're my life. Why does she need to be carried like this? <laughs> eh? What's I'm that? I'm made of a little frost, Benedicta. What are you doing? I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <sighs> Spearmint and lemon, maybe. Maybe. I think she's injured. She might be injured. That's why he carried her. Was there lore there? <laughs> the lines are gone. Did I miss any kind of lore there? <laughs> the chaos will conceal us. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, sure you did. Excuse me. We need to replay the cutscene. 
We need to replay the cutscene to unearth any kind of lore during that scene. Can we replay cutscenes in this game? <laughs> nah. Um, there's a whole lore button for this game? What do you mean? There's a plot? <laughs> okay. Ooh! Let's go! I'm so excited! I'm playing game! Okay. Huh. Gone are the days of trombone champ Octavio. There's only Final Fantasy 16 Octavio. Tomorrow it's Minecraft Octavio. But... Next week it's Vanquish Octavio. <laughs> Wait, let's look at the rocks. Are there, is there any lore here? Bruh. Look at the... Look at that. Look at that. Things have exploded here. But trombone champ. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That's uh, I know that from Apex. And quick and deadly, as always. Tiamat. His name is freaking Tiamat. Take the van. Why is he so badass? Yeah, the stylish action third-person shooter. I can't Please. wait. Maybe I'll Some get to play Metal right. Gear Rising: Revengeance as well. I need to unearth my PS3 so I can play Asura's Wrath! God Hand! Dragon Guard! Maybe, maybe. Oh, it's Titan. So the Darmaks finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Oh no, it's Titan vs. Shiva. I'm happy that the scenes they showed in the trailer are the first scenes in the game. I'm pressing the touchpad, nothing's happening. Oh, Shiva! Bruh. Why does this game... This game looks so expensive! This game is so expensive looking, oh my god! <laughs> It was expensive! It was $70! Look at freaking Titan. Ooh! Bro. Oh, that's so cool! Let them kiss! God damn it, Titan. This is your chance to feel Shiva's touch. And you just punch her in the face? Ooh. Clive has a freaking earring. I love it. Yeah! He just instant transmissioned out of there. You don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! Okay, I'm moving, I'm moving. But we look we look behind us though. Any treasure boxes? Treasure chests? No? Okay, okay. Alright. It's an earthquake. Anything here? No? Okay. Ugh. Bro. Bro. No, 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 no. Wait, we need to look back. Treasure chests? No treasure chests. Okay. Can I run faster? Or can I can jump! There's a jump button. There's a jump button. I can jump here if I want to. Okay, okay. There's swears in my Final Fantasy. Okay. Let's do some sick tricks. Can I do an ollie? I want to sprint. Okay, up here. Nice suit. Ooh. Do a backflip. My poor PG-13 ears. <laughs> gonna stand there? Uh. 
Oh no, oh no, no. Not the rock. As determined by Regis Altair. Bro, life is hard, man. <laughs> life is hard as an epic protagonist. <laughs> no! Biast! Oh my god! No! <laughs> oh no! He got squished! There was blood! Wyvern! Wyvern! Rip Biast. Biast got Biasted. <laughs> oh damn. I was not expecting that. I told you before, you do not get to die here. This seems this looks like a scene out of Call of Duty now. Oh, poor Biast. You are my best friend. Brother. Oh. Seems like they actually have like a bond. He called him brother. Get up, guys. Ayo? Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just joking. Okay? <laughs> no! <laughs> Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Oh? Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure oh, to life is still so good right now. Don't give up now. Ah! Ah! So cute! Wait, what the heck? Is this like an errand situation? Probably not. This is just a pass, right? Let's go! Gameplay! Okay, how do we fight? How swing sword? Wait, I want to pet the pupper though. Press square to perform a melee attack. Up to four. One, two, three, four. We suck. Once more, please. Okay, cool. Two, three, four. Nice. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? Magic. The flames of the phoenix burn within you. You can pet the dog after you learn to be a GRPG protagonist. You're right. I need to learn the ropes first. Rain fire down upon me. All right. I'm gonna. What if I just summon Ifrit or something? Land the fire spell five times. Press triangle. Ooh, ooh, get right. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yeah. Well done. <laughs> You wield the this is Apex Legends! Just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Eh? Can be arranged. Let's see if you what? can elude my blade. After all. He says that in that way, then it says lewd. Ayo? On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Okay. Stay quick on your feet. All right, evade four times. R1 to evade. That's a weird button for evasion. Evading attack and protect. Oh, yes. Perfect, perfect evade. Let's go. Oh, I love it. I love it. How did you dodge that? I was sure I had you. That was amazing. Your honor, he's a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me oh. what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Change keybinds? Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on you. 
Maybe I should, um... Well, I'm waiting. Now, I'll try and get used to the main control scheme first. Close the gap. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Where the heck is my mouse? Oh, thank you. Something happened. I don't know how to use YT yet. But thank you, whoever did that, Mamichan. Thank you. Iconic feats. The blessings of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability. Hey, Haka, thanks so much for the redirect. Haka, 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 Haka. Haka, freaking calling me long. Guys, I mean, Hakitos. I mean, the Hakitos probably believe whatever Haka says. But Octoposse! Am I a long person to you? Am I long? Let me let me show you. Am I long? I'm in the game. Do I look long? I don't think I look long. Right? I'm not long. A? Eh? Wait, 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 wait. C? I'm just the right size, I think. I'm not long, long, man. No. No. <laughs> no. I don't believe you. I don't want to be long. I want to be short. I want to be a short king. I want to represent the short kings in the world. Okay? There's no shame in being short. <laughs> but Haka, how did you like your uh, paparazzi stream? That game is so good. You probably got farther than me, though. You can be long and short at the same time. You're right. You're right. I'll tell already reps of short kings. I want to be part of the short kings. <laughs> the tallest short king? I wish I had, I wish my heels were bigger so I can say that, no, this isn't my actual height. I'm actually shorter, right? Yeah, 174 CM. How, what is 174 CM in the, in the inches and the feet? He you found your dog and you had a boat. Oh, my boy Onion, 5'7", yeah, 5'9", five, 5'8", five, well, that's so tall. <laughs> that's tall, damn. That is not short. How am I going to be a short king? <gasps> Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Right? I'll be like, when. Maybe when we get our 3Ds in the future. Long, long five years in the future, maybe? I'll be like, please. Please make my model like 5 1. <laughs> Wait, 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 where were we? Where were we? The blessing of Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix Shift is one such iconic feat. Wait, wait, what? Okay, I'm confused. I thought, so here, here it is. I haven't played the game yet. I really thought Clive had Ifrit, but apparently he has Phoenix. Okay, interesting. Both melee and range attacks can be used while executing a Phoenix Shift. All right. Phoenix shift. Circle for feet. Fly at your foe before he can raise his guard. Oh, it's a it's a dash. Okay. Blah. All right. <laughs> the longest the short. You shut up. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a Damn, 160. What is 160 in feet inches? That you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Okay. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Clean my clothes. Do my laundry then. Use potions to fully restore HP. Consumable items such as 5 2. Okay. Alright. Yeah. 5 2. I think that does qualify. <laughs> I wish I was 5 2. I wish I was 5 2. And tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. Consumables can be assigned to via the items tab in the main menu. Okay. 
All right. Use potions to fully restore HP. Oh, I have a potion and a high potion in the lower left. Do you think those wounds become you? Okay. One more? All right. Cool. I'm doing great. We're That's gaming. Better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments. Oh, by the way, again, to all the new people in here, can be this is officially strength. my first DDD XP. Be ready to utilize every Dangerous deep dive playthrough. If you are to the slowest to ass playthrough of Final Fantasy 16 you've ever seen. To ensure that you live to fight another day. Okay, Enough sir. Practice. Oh, it's time to really fight! Let's go! You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spa with me. Why does he if talk to me that way? It's kind of weird. I feel flame, weird. I feel <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> As you wish, my lord. Are you done? Are you done soaking? What does that even mean? How at me, boy. Make proof of your strength. How you aren't ready for this? Breaking an opponent's will. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back. Oh, it's a stagger gauge. Break their spirit by a landing attack to strike them with. You know what? It's interesting how stagger has become such a big thing in Final Fantasy. Was it Final Fantasy 12 or 13 that started this? I don't know. Well, are you soaking? What does what? What does that mean? <laughs> soaking in my sweat? I don't sweat. I don't. That's why I always smell like spearmint and lemons. Go on, you're sure to beat him this time. Ha! You aren't ready. Just God damn it! Home. Oh, I love how we're using wooden swords. I'm gonna do another Kingdom Hearts reference. Ah, you're seriously. Of course. Going, huh? Get wrecked. Come on. I'm gonna break your will. Ah, it's staggered. <laughs> Roxas, that's a stick, exactly. Uh, Lord Murdoch's will has been broken. Oh, we. <laughs> He doesn't have the will to live anymore. <laughs> we might have caused depression to Lord Murdoch. No. Leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage. Ayo, hey, battle. <laughs> Thank you for the redirect. Am I the only one streaming? <laughs> Thank you for the redirect, battle. Thank you. Thank you. Honk, honk. <laughs> Welcome, battalions. Again, to the battalions who don't know me, I am Octavio. The opulent octatonic operatic and also the Hakitos. The opulent octatonic operatic puppeteer of Bounty Hunter Unit Armist of All Stars English. What's up? I'm playing Final Fantasy 16 right now. And again, it's my DDD XP. Dangerous deep dive playthrough. The slowest playthrough of Final Fantasy 16 you've ever seen. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna, we're gonna marinate, I guess. We're gonna marinate in, you know, the sweat of 16. <laughs> what am I talking about? But welcome, welcome. So we're currently still the tutorial, by the way. And I've already been streaming for what? How many, how many hours has it been now? One hour 30. Okay, fine. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Lord, Lord, Lord Murdoch's has been broken. Leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage again before he regains his senses. Uh, use R2 plus square to execute rising flames. R2 plus square, okay. A powerful iconic ability granted Clive by the blessing of the Phoenix. R2 plus square! Ah! That's a Shoryuken! R2 plus square again? I can't? God damn it, Lord Murdoch. Let's go. Cool! Oh, cool. Cool? Ooh. Blech. 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 We gaming. We gaming. Blech. That's the first shot. You got me there. Lord Murdoch, you talk a big game, but you suck. I almost got a perfect there. We need to go back. It's not a five star. Oh, that was a really nice, deep fan victory fanfare. Ah. 
Final Fantasy 1-6 XVI-16 No one likes you, Lord Murdoch. Kiss my hand. No, not really. You're good, you're fine. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. I think... I think he likes me. <laughs> what are you, Why does he look at me that way? Why is it full of love? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So I'm Clive Rossfield. I'm not exactly royalty, right? I'm just more like a, uh, a bodyguard to this little boy, right? He's giving me a haircut. Joshua. Joshua, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just tired. Okay. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> okay, I'm confused. <laughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. Clive has a blessing of Phoenix. And Joshua? We'll be fine. Interesting. Just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. Father's back. Oh yeah, Joshua's me. <laughs> so that's why I vibe with Joshua. We're both small. Your grace. And please, cute. This is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see Annabella. my darling boy. Okay. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. What Thank word you. is that? Indefatigable. We live to serve. Oh, fatigue. Indefatigable. Huh. Joshua. Joshua's so cute, though. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Oh. Why is she... I'm sorry. ...covering her mouth? Good day to you. Is this some okay. sort of social distancing? It's cool though, if it's just a mannerism. Come, Joshua. Oh, Your stinky! I see, I see. I see. They're stinky. Hmm. Yeah. Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. I'm gonna guess. His name is Joshua Stark. His father is Ned Stark. Your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. Hmm. Okay, so Joshua is born as a Phoenix. This is gonna be our waifu, I can tell. <laughs> Oi, not Ned Stark. <laughs> she says one thing to everyone, but her boy. Oh, I think that's why she covered. It. Okay, I, I see. I see. You watch Game of Thrones? Heck yeah, I watch Game of Thrones. Ooh, what is this? Gerard? Ah, it's a chocobo. Okay. Yeah, Gerard wouldn't have been as cool as this chocobo, right? <laughs> this is our dad. Ned Stark. Rise, my friends. What a nice voice. Rise, my friends. Welcome home, Father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Damn. I'm much better. Today. What a cool ass father. Age, watch Clive spa. Is that so? Ah! It's my little dog! I love him! Boy. I love him so much! He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. They're Wait, father? Huh, interesting. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, so they're... Eh? Oh, he's so cute! The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. 
Whoa, yeah, he's he's life. he's not like the main great. child. <laughs> he's not the main guy. He's the second guy. This a so they so, so they share blood. Joshua and Clyde. The throne room. We will talk there. Yes, father. Your grace. Ooh. Interesting. Shields dismissed. Cool. What a cool dad. He has really broad shoulders too. Yeah, they share the same father, but I guess not the mother. Yeah, it's giving Jon Snow. <laughs> no, not the dog. Not the butterfly. Oh, such a cutie. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? He's so cute. Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Can we just explore now? Sunrise, sunset. Kind of like the movie. Before sunrise and before sunset. Great movies. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 and trust in your animal instinct. <laughs> wow. I have an animal instinct. Okay. The current destination will be displayed with a... What, is, what even is that? A red thing. Yes, my animal instincts. Yes, I'm just gonna give in to my basest I'm not sure. <laughs> primal I'm instincts. Not okay. Yeah, he got the dog in him. <laughs> my pupper instincts. My puppet instincts and my pupper instincts. Oh, look at us. Oh, we're a nice little family. I want to see. I don't want Torgo to. Wait. Why are you scared of me? Why are you scared of me? Oh. Why are you so scared? I'm not gonna kidnap the dog! The dog is mine! Ayo! Ayo! No, this hurts so much! This hurts so much! I'm stinky. That actually hurts, Jill. I'm actually offended. You know? I don't mean to do anything bad to you. I just want to pet the dog. Ooh. Can we talk to people or not? Oh, let me try my animal instincts. What do my animal instincts tell me? Okay, it's just that. Okay, all right. I thought it was gonna nom 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 nom. <laughs> it was gonna turn into an animal. Eat some food. Oh, I can't talk to people. Let's explore. Let's explore. Make sure all the crystals are accounted for. This, this game looks so good. Before we lose the light. What is that? Can I? Hello? Can I get there? Clive, double jump. You can do that, right? Double jump. Ugh. No, can't. I want to get that though. Wait. We need to see. This game is so good. There are some drops in the frame rate though, which is a bit annoying. But it's fine. The way I see it, it's us or them. I know who my mother's on. I know who my mother's on. How do I get there? Can I go inside the door? Nah. Can you break barrels? I can't even attack. Yeah, it's it's already set at prioritize frame rate. Um, it is at 60, but it drops. But it's fine. Wait, let's see. I saw something sparkly here. Where was it? So this is it, lads. Time to put an end to. Oh, here. All right. Finding items. Useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. Items discovered can be viewed on the items tab in the main menu. Let's get this. Let's see. Ooh. Look at us. HP. Offensive potential. Strength. Attack power, defense, will. While will is stagger. Oh, stagger is our ability to stagger, and will is our like defense against getting staggered ourselves. Cool. Rosarian Oath. Upon joining the Ducal Army, all future shields receive a long sword that not only serves as their weapon, but represents the oath they take to defend Rosaria and her people. The blade of this particular weapon is approximately a hand shorter than those used by most. Oh, it's it's a short it's a short blade, making it more suitable for a squire not yet fully grown. Oh, it's like the thing I was talking earlier, where parents gift you a small guitar instead of a big guitar before they can tell that you're really into it. <laughs> Rosarian belt uh, Designed more for keeping one's trousers in place Than stopping the head of an axe 
you, need, you definitely need your trousers in place when you're fighting. Those expecting any discernible protection from this basic set will be sorely disappointed. Oh, look at the little party members, the pixel art party members. It's so nice. Cool, 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 cool. Um, gear and icons. So we have that. System. All right. Items. Shortcuts. Potion. Curative infusions of common herbs found growing throughout Valistea. Also, oh, they're, they're herbs. Uh, as an, an expensive, less dramatic alternative to the barber's blade. Okay. <laughs> Potions are better than surgery, is what you're saying. Uh, high potion is a potent infusion. The wave stone skin tonic. The wave of euphoria induced by this foul-smelling brew grants those who drink it delusions of invulnerability. It is widely consumed by soldiers seeking to toughen their own hides. Increases defense by 30% for 90 seconds. Cool. Cool, cool. 40% and 20%. Okay. Nice. Yeah, pixel art party. It's pretty nice. Sunrise, sunset. As the... Dutchy? Douchey? <laughs> Reminds me of Debussy. Readies itself for war with the Iron Kingdom, its most bitter and long-standing of rivals... So too does Clive prepare to do his duty as first shield. Oh, first shield of Rosaria to protect and serve his brother Joshua, dominant of the Phoenix. Okay, cool. Stop the bussy. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go to the... Oh, these are the other stairs. Cool, cool, cool. Not again with the debussy. Yeah, we're going to go through item descriptions as well. Sometimes, especially, especially Koji Fox, right? Koji Fox does a lot of flavor text. So it'll be nice to go through all the descriptions as well. Good as of course, an apple. Uh, 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 Wait, me, this guy has a mark this on his face. Yourself with this bungling car. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. Oh, so seems like I still have some sort of respect. Clive still has some sort of respect here. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not Even if he is to be allowed, possibly to a bastard son? Presence is more than his kind deserves. Why? Neither the Empire nor the Republic Yeah, yeah. God damn it, Koji, exactly. Half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Yeah, technically, yeah, you're right. He's still royalty. Maybe half royalty? Start. Mom hates us. We don't have the blonde hair. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your Wait. lordship's wish. Is this this guy isn't Tiamat, right? Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. Is this guy Tiamat? I don't think so. Probably not. As do we all, my lord. He's just a guy. As do we all. Like Octavio. I'm just a guy. Come along now. Back to your duties. Jill loves us. Wait, Jill? Okay. <laughs> if Jill's gonna be our waifu, Jill probably isn't related to Joshua, right? <laughs> Jill is probably from another family. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, it can't be exact. She's like Mikasa. Just Looks like um, they're getting ready for supper. Not as scary, at least for now. I think someone's hungry. Oh? What is this about? You've seen enough. We'll be having a feast for the two of you soon enough, that's kinda weird. I'm having my bearer fill the well. Your bearer. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? Wait, what is he doing? He's a bearer? What, like a crystal bearer thing? He's making water? Huh. Interesting. Is he making water? Out of the crystal? Huh. Cool. Yeah, he's making water. Damn. We need people like that in South Elysium. 
Because sometimes it gets really, really dry here. You'll find out what they're soon. Okay, okay. Ducal Fine shield. Display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. A waterbender. What about this? A high potion, thank you. Alright. Cool. E, e, e. We're skipping. Did we miss anything from there? Probably not, right? It's just that the stable. Okay. Let's go here. We can't enter doors. Animal instinct tells me to go here! Yeah, what water is that though? Is it gonna be clean water? Or is it gonna take on the properties of his sweat? Nice and quiet in Ooh. here, isn't it? So pretty. Any treasure chests? There's Joshua. Yeah, I know, but any treasure chests here? You need to tell me. Quick. Why you said like that so far? Why? <laughs> the properties of his sweat? Treasure chest. Hello? Any Xehanort reports? <laughs> no? Okay. Alright. Fine. I like how he emphasized words. That's my South Elysian tongue. Look at this guy. This guy's also a bearer. He's using wind to cut the the grass. All right. No, don't focus on tongue. Come on. Oh yeah, I, I have a consent King of Hearts brain rot. Yes. Lord Marquis, forgive my man. You'll be done in the jiffy. Just get in the place, tidied up for the big procession. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay. Huh. Let's do a dual wield his yeah, his string key blades. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be a thing in the future. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the IP people. Please give me string key blades! Alright, that's cool. That's fine. So interesting. One thing you need to know about me. I do like uncut grass more than cut grass. I mean, not really grass itself, but more of these things, like the landscaping stuff. I really want the grass to, or whatever, the leaves to be more wild. Rather than these weird shapes and squares and circles and round stuff. Just let them loose. Let their hair down. You know, they deserve it. The grass deserves it. <laughs> You only cut grass smells nice too, actually. But let them be free! Yeah. Exactly. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait. I know you're there, mother, but I see some people over here to the left. My lord, it, it, it's not how it looks. I'm um, inspecting the castle walls by order of the Duchess. Thief! I will slay you with my animal instinct! Uh, doesn't work that way, I guess. This isn't Grand Theft Auto. Mother? Mother. Look at me. Look at me. I can jump. Look at me, mother. Okay, she does she really doesn't want to look at me. She doesn't like my presence at all. She doesn't perceive me. I pretend I do not see. <laughs> <laughs> she literally did that. did that. Making an effort. Some large gate. Could you check his hands? <gasps> maybe we sh maybe I should. Gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Use X to access them, then hold R2 to push or pull with all your might. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's look at his hands. What are you holding? What are you doing? <laughs> Ayo? Okay, fine. Excuse me? I don't know what he's doing. He's pointing at something. He's pointing at the floor. The power of the Phoenix dwells within Joshua. And Joshua alone. If any ill should befall him, it will be on your head. 
Do okay. not neglect your duties again. So she says the power of the Phoenix uh, is Joshua. Only Joshua alone has the power of the Phoenix. Cool. Okay, so I guess since we're Joshua's brother, we have the blessing of the Phoenix. I guess. So we kind of share in his power. Because we're cool like that. Because of our brotherly bond. I wonder where Ifrit falls into all of this. Right? Counting the ant. <laughs> is he Crimson Ruse? It must be Ruse. Good luck. Oh, so cute! So cute, Torgal! Ah, he loves us! Damn. You know what? I played Forspoken, and they animated the cats in that game so well. That's what they're doing to Torgal now. You commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. My <laughs> mother isn't here. He's such a cool dad, meaning he'll die. <laughs> He's gonna die. Dad! Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. The blight? Okay. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the deadlands. Even if we were to send them south, to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must. Oh, his name is Elwyn. I just realized they never say their names. You just get to know them through the speaker titles. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. Okay. So there's like a disease? The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Yeah, he's manspreading. He's doing all the cool guy things. There is something else I would have you He's do. leaning his head like this. He's Gordon. thinking really deeply in a brooding manner. He's manspreading. He's doing everything. You will have heard the reports, I'm sure, of a cool dad the does. North being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. Here we go again, Goblin well, we'll Genocide. Tomorrow you will journey to Stillwind. Search it. And clear it. Let's just leave the then goblins alone. At Phoenix Gate. They deserve to live. Maybe? Depends on the goblins. <laughs> Maybe they're good goblins, who knows? Strength. I watch slime. And shut your mother up for good. <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. Oh, if they're the goblins, they're goblins, and let's kill them. That will be all. Screw them. <laughs> we ride at dawn. Yes, your grace. Cool. That just means one thing. We're gonna go to the goblin camp, and when we go back, the city's dead. Oh, here we go. Hold the that button to access the active time lore. Active time lore. A compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can even be viewed during most cutscenes. So, if I do this... Bruh! I can press it anywhere? AO? Really? Rosalith. Rose and stone. Huh? Right? Rose stone castle. Okay. Rosalith castle. Situated in the heart of the ducal capital of Rosestone, it is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation. 
an architectural feat the founder himself would be the founding titan the castle has stood since the early days of the debussy and watched over the rise of this proud nation the people who now okay the grand debussy of rosaria a nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of storm with rosalith as its capital rosaria was Okay, Rosaria is the place, Rosalith is the capital. Was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwin Rossfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own. Oh, interesting. The Debussy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's breath. Wait, so we're going to take Drake's breath from the Iron Kingdom to protect ourselves from the blight. Which lies still further west to the to further to the west in the midst of the boiling sea. That sea's probably cold. Not boiling at all. Yeah, the bussy. Because you could do it from the beginning launch. It led to some really Oh really. Maybe it was kinda weird to be able to do it at the beginning. Look at this guy though. Elwin Rosfield, Archduke of the Grand the Bussy of Rosarian, father of Clive and Joshua. Loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. But what are his flaws, though? Surely he has flaws. Why does it seem like he's the perfect man? Huh? The Iron Kingdom. This is what we're trying to fight. Also known in the local tongue as Hearan. The Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital capital at Kragloasgute. The Mother Crystal Drake's oh, that's the that's what the Mother Crystal is called. Drake's breath rises from a volcano. <laughs> flaws that he chose the worst wife. His his man spreads. <laughs> um, <laughs> god damn it. Uh, rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders. Ah, uh, depending on whom you ask, it's a territorial dispute and has been the subject of a long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Debussy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely, inward-looking culture. Okay, so they're kind of isolationist, I guess? Um, because... <laughs> they go out of your way for a lore. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do for these games that I'm sure... I will love, right? Item descriptions, lore entries, as much as I can, at least. I still have a stream to run. Um, neighboring the bussy. <laughs> mommy crystals. That's cool. The mommy crystals. Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valisthea. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the twins... Rely on in their everyday lives. The twins? Not only that, but the land surrounding them are rich with ether, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mommy crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. Who are the twins? I guess we'll get to know the twins later. That's cool! I love it! Active time lore! Yes! Please don't we patent it like the nemesis system. Once before, but their patriarch still dreams of spreading his message to storm. And when the crusaders march, they move a dance sight quicker than the blight ever did. So we recapture the mother crystal, end their ambitions, and secure the duchy. Only the light of the phoenix can guide us through these dark days. But that does not mean I'm happy asking this of Joshua. Look after him, won't you? Wait, we're Even just gonna. It costs me my life. Okay, I guess we're just Let's gonna invade. Make sure it doesn't come to that. The place that has the mommy crystal, I guess. <laughs> no, when mommy crystals and daddy crystals love each other very much, hussy, they form the bussy. <laughs> Stop it! Why is that so funny? <laughs> they form the bussy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Stop! Stop! No Stop! The voices in my head. 
<laughs> Mommy crystals and daddy crystals, they form the bossy. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. Right. This looks like Resident Evil Village. Let's get up here. Wait, if I do this again... Okay, no, it's still the same. All right. I'm gonna guess it changes per area, maybe. Mommy Crystal, sorry. Mommy Crystal, sorry. Mommy Crystal, sorry. Oh, it's so dark. This is my room. This is Princess Garnett's room. Oh, wait, did I just... Advance the story? Wait, so if I do this... Bruh! It even happens during cutscenes? Oh, look at his garb. It's pretty modern looking. But I How called it garb. Be away this time? Not long. Annabelle is pretty. Days. Pretty though. Five. I have to say. And you will be taking Joshua. In this lighting? Mm. I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know. Here's the thing you need to know about me, chat. Let's let's read Annabella Rosfield. Duchess of Rosaria, wife of Arkdu Elwyn, and mother to Clive and Joshua. While she adores her younger son, she treats Clive and Jill. Why does he, why do they include Jill? Huh, interesting. Here's the here's the thing you need to know me. So for every like workplace I've ever been to, or maybe even in school or whatever, right? If there are like different you know, you have different mentors. Huh? You have different mentors. You have different mentors as you go through your life. The one I usually like the most is the one that's freaking annoying. They're very, they, they're always mad. You know, they're always, what's the term? What's the English for, uh, if there's anyone from Octazone 2 here? English for Masungit. Those kinds of people. Yeah, they're they're my favorites always. Always. I love it. I love it. Grumpy bitch. Yeah, bitchy, I guess. Yeah. 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 Prickly grumpy. Yeah. Yeah, those yeah. Mm. Those are my jam. <laughs> my jam. <laughs> can enter the apothecary, so yes. I'm taking Joshua. Apothecary? What is that? The boy is ill. Joshua's I ill? I don't know that. But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Sundares? Elwin. Don't worry. No, I want them to be actually Clive mad at me. Watch over him. <laughs> like they hate my guts. <laughs> oh, he is a youth of but 15 years. He's already a fine soldier. I don't want them to suddenly turn and be like, oh, you're so cute. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. Exactly like Duchess Annabella. <laughs> As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know, <laughs> Damn well Jesus, no. I sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. No, not that word. No, you not those words. Son. See, isn't this fun? What is going on? Ha! Ah! Again? In right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe. Your precious noble blood. In Final Fantasy 16, there's something for everybody, I see. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. Good. 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 <laughs> oh, Lord, not this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I literally don't have a sensor. I don't have a sensor thing like uh, Zephyr. Oh, this scene is so nice. This is it then. Time to prove yourself. 
wishing on a star. Oh my god! This feels like this reminds me of like a little old for that. something you'd see in Final Fantasy IV. I should get some sleep. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, Clive Rossfield. Um, okay, I have a little bit of I have a weird thing with this ATL. It's super cool, but I guess it kind of ruins the pacing of a cutscene. Um. I guess we'll try to use it sparingly, I feel like. Right? Because it may if I need to keep checking lore during a <laughs> big cutscene, it might be dip it might be uh a bit weird. Can I view these things separately though? Like in a separate journal? Oh eventually you can okay, you can review okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice, nice, nice. But since it's already here, let's read it. Clive Rossfield. Um First bo firstborn son. He's a firstborn son. You're right. Yeah, he is the oldest. Though, through, though all expected him to inherit the phoenix's flames and awaken... Oh, so that's what happened. He wasn't given the... He wasn't born as the dominant. So that's why he's like a second-class citizen <laughs> in his own family. Destiny instead chose his younger brother Joshua to bear that burden. In search of a role of his own, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade. And his practice paid off when he was appointed first shield of Rosaria, tasked to guard the phoenix and blessed with the ability to wield a part of his fire. I see. Interesting. How about Jill? Don't tell me Jill is also our sister. Born a princess of the all oh, the northern territories, the one that um the Debussy of Rosaria took, or something, if I remember correctly. Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled. Oh, it was quelled by the Debussy, I see. She was raised in Rosalith Castle. Oh, okay. All right. Why is it the bussy? I don't know. I can't tell you. It's just, it just is. I see. Yeah, like Theon, exactly. Hmm. It's like kind of like an ally oh, thing and tomorrow, aren't you? it'll take your child here. I am Joshua's yeah. shield. I'm sworn to protect him. Political hostage. Kinda, yeah. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I can't pronounce the bussy! Come on! I have another mission, too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, Metia. I shall just have to do it for you. Meteor? Media? Metia? Ha! I see you, Final Fantasy! Oh. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? War never ends. No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. It sucks because there's like a third party. It's the Blight. And we need to kind of survive the Blight. But we need the Mommy Crystal. But it's part of a neighboring kingdom or whatever. Oh! It's getting cold. We should go in. We cheat. We treat Indeed. Jill with respect here. <laughs> Not the hover hand. That's the true sadness here, the hover hand. Oh, this is a nice scene though. What the heck? I want a diorama of this scene. That'd be so cool. The hover hand. Look at the media. I see you, meteor. Sephiroth's gonna bring that down on us. If he exists here. Yeah, the piano's so nice. I can't believe. 
I can believe, I guess. But uh, it's so amazing that we got freaking soap in. Sorry, Ambrosia. We won't be hunting today. For this as well. Oh, what a nice looking choker, bro. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Good luck. Wait, 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 wait. So, is Jill a dominant? I don't think nothing's been established about Jill yet. I believe I'm, I'm correct. Friends, we ride for Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the fireless flame. Oh no. Why would you say that? Because she's a main character? <laughs> Just because she's a main character? Interesting. Lord Rossfield, allow me. Because if I she isn't a dominant now. Thank you. And so far what we know is dominants are born. Are born with the ability. Right? Oh look at these. Are you my new party mates? Are you Biggs and Wedge? May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you. Oh wait, so they're gonna attack the mummy crystal and we're gonna clear some goblins. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. Oh I love this game already! It feels so Final Fantasy. My god. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today we won't. Sir Wade, Sir Tyler, <laughs> let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I'm being... <laughs> <you> command. <laughs> to the I'm being then. put off by their sleeveless <laughs> outfits. <laughs> and the blessing of the Is it a cold here? Place. What? Why are you guys showing your arms? <laughs> Crimson Ruse, Crimson Ruse filled. <laughs> Guns out, yeah! <laughs> the world map displays all the locations indicated by glowing pins. All right. Oh yo. Oh, we got a, like a we got like an overworld overworld map. Wait, wait, wait. Center. Okay, Clive. Travel. Unable. Oh, okay. I, I wanted to explore the city more. I wonder if there was more unlockable stuff. Yeah, the map is the map is cool. Still win. Western Rush. No, not Russia. Rosaria. <laughs> there was a time, not long ago, that the songs of civilization echoed through still winds, knotted boughs. Yeah, it's a prelude from Final Fantasy. From every Final Fantasy. Um, now the settlements lie abandoned, and the only sounds to escape this forsaken place are the howls of beasts that have fled the deadlands to make the bogs their home. But chat! Octopussy! Can I pee? Can I pee? I need to pee. Let me pee. Okay, one second. I need to pee. Oh, really quick. I'll be back. 27 seconds.
I'm back! I did it! I did the deed. The deed. I have done. <laughs> Was it 27 seconds? Did I do it? Don't say fast. What? That's 27 seconds. Speed? No! No! That was literally 27 seconds, even with washing of the hands. Hey, Yuki and Yuna, thanks so much for the redirect. Thank you, everybody from a dual leveling stream. How's it going? How's it going? Let me introduce myself. I am Octavio, the opulent octatonic operatic puppeteer from Bounty Hunter Unit Armis of Holostar's English. What's up? Welcome, welcome. How is you? How is you? Hope you had a great stream. We're playing Final Fantasy 16. Again, I'm gonna explain it again over and over. All right, one thing I didn't tell you guys about our DDDXP, Dangerous Deep Dive Playthroughs, right? Is this, aside from this being literally dangerous deep dives of everything, item descriptions, the lore and everything, right? I'll also be doing little, um, little recaps of previous streams f as a trailer. I'll be adding it as a trailer to my waiting rooms so i'll be like puppeting some weird i don't know cartoon characters of clive and jill or whatever and being like oh this is what happened in the previous episode we we fought this guy and then that guy died right just so just a little thing just so you know you can get caught up i guess a little bit as much as you can those are those aren't gonna be fully produced things though the, i literally cannot use any imagery from ff16 in videos just in stream. So something like that. Just a little bit of recap per stream. All right. Yeah. In the last episode. In the previous episode. Right? So me. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's fight some goblins. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Def definitely not. <laughs> but they're going to be funny. They're going to be funny at least. I'll try. Look at my, look at my party members with their guns out. Oh, scary place. Scary place. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they were just else? literally Biggs and Wedge. Wade and Tyler, they look like they're gonna die today. <laughs> I mean, I'm like super slender and thin, and these guys are decked out with their muscles. Surely they'll protect me instead of the other way around. Feeling overwhelmed? Try equipping one or more of the five timely accessories. For example, the Ring of Timely Strikes. Oh, this is the um, this is the assist, assist items. I see. Uh, nope. <laughs> Nope. Not exactly the most well-maintained path. Let's see. I want to see something first, though. Can we... I mean... Here, party members. Wade and Tyler. They have their own little sprites. That's pretty cool. Also, wait. I was not expecting party members at all. Excuse me? Huh? I thought this was just going to be a single character action game. Lost in a Fog. Bade by his father, the Archduke, to address reports of the ever-spreading blight, having driven a horde of goblins into Rosarian territory. Oh, so the goblins here are because of the blight. Clive journeys to the swamps of Stillwind, accompanied by a pair of loyal shields of the Debussy. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Abilities. Let me see. Abilities. What is this? Um. Oh, just not controllable. I see. Makes sense. Ability points can be spending ability. Oh, we got abilities now. Oh. Oh, eh. Wait. How many points do we have? 50. These are 300. Oh, wait. These are abilities we already have. Use square. R1 to move swiftly. Okay. Use X to jump. We don't have that yet. While in the air, makes sense. Try. Okay. 
We, just, we don't have any cool we'll abilities yet. It. A bit later. They've all fled from the blood. Where's my Vix inhaler? I need it. Ah. Okay. Ah. Clear nose once again. Oh, not Vix inhaler. Just an inhaler in general. Okay. No sponsors here. No free advertising. It's hard to believe that anyone used to live here. The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man's greatest invention since a fire, yes. It's just like every toothpaste is <laughs> called Yeah, it's true. It's true. Is there any other inhaler except for Vax inhaler? I guess. <laughs> but those are like asthma inhalers. <laughs> It's basically like toothpaste in a inhaler anyway. I love it. Whenever I feel like feel weird, feel bad, have a headache or whatever, I just <laughs> I just inhale the shit out of it. <laughs> I'm sorry I said shit. Ah, sorry. Shit. Ah, crap. Ooh. He had toothpaste, but for the nose. Sounds like Gerard when he goes close to the mic and goes. Blah, blah, blah. Why is Wade's hair super nice looking? God damn it, Wade! Dwayne Wade! I knew you should have just kept holding a basketball instead of a. Sword. Let's go. With me. Magic burst. Use triangle after striking an opponent with square. Use triangle and square to conjure a magical. Okay. Square then triangle. Eh? Is that it? Cool. Ooh. That's way too intense. That's way too intense, Wade. Those were easy goblins. You don't need to. <laughs> you don't need to. Ah! For those guys. Come on. Have a little self respect. So look at this place. It's so dank and swampy, but it's so nice looking as well. Uh, I think I saw someone say how polished this game looks. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. Wade using his entire debussy. Yeah. <laughs> Wade is so warrior main. True, true. Okay, cool. I love the music! I wish we can find, like, Quina in here. Is it pronounced Quina? Quina? Our frog-loving... ...character in Final Fantasy IX. Oh, I love IX. IX is my favorite. I wonder if 16 will replace IX in my heart. Welcome to Stillwind. Of care. Oh! Wait, I don't want to go there accidentally. Yeah, Gourmand energy, exactly. Can go through here. I've come up with a new recipe. Wait, what? The, what, what is that? Yo, Machera, enjoy the journey quickly. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the super as well. What do we pick up? Strength tonic. The wave of euphoria induced by this foul smell. Foul smelling. Ah, the strength tonic is foul smelling. Grants those who drink it delusions of power. It is widely consumed by soldiers. Okay. Uh, how do we add to shortcuts, by the way? Oh, we can only have we can only have three shortcuts. I see. Uh, stone skin. I, I think I would want strength tonic more. We're, let's just not get hurt, you know. We don't need increased defense if we just dodge everything. Mm -hmm. Another use for the R3, where do I go? But as you can see, and intentionally avoid the main path. Oh, wait. Oh, you're right. Huh? That's big brain. You replace six. Oh, six is so good. I uh, love 16, but it's still 10. Oh, I love the romance in 10, man. That's so smart. So animal instincts tell me to go here. So therefore I'll go here instead. 
<laughs> Look at them. Look at Wade. Did you play it? Yeah! I mean, I'm sorry. A lot of people hate Final Fantasy Stranger of Paradise. But I love that game to death. I love it so much. Jack! The darkness is thick. There's more. Darkness so thick I can taste it. Yeah. Hello? When can I do the Phoenix Shift? Oh, Phoenix Shift is just this. Okay, cool. Ooh, did I get hit? Chaos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chaos. Um, some enemies will drop gill or items upon their defeat. Hello? All right. How do I change lock on? Attack more, guys. I'm getting bored. Ooh, ooh. You guys need to need to attack more. You guys need to strategize more. <laughs> but no one can deny the Jack Garland. Yes! Yes, I love Jack Garland so much. I don't care. The Stranger of Paradise stream when? Maybe! I don't know. We'll see. I still haven't played the DLC. The Bahamut DLC? He's getting cocky. I think flicking the right stick. Oh, okay. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. He's Ganobji. Ganobji? That's a different game. That's a royal battle game. Ganobji. Yeah, it got DLC. Um, it has a, I think it was the Warrior of Light DLC and the Bahamut DLC? Yeah, I'm so strong. <laughs> I also do want to play Neo. Neo 2? I guess? Anyway, as long as the game has like super action, action ass gameplay, I love it so much. Um, one of my biggest like inspirations, I guess, for the content that I make, or at least I want to make, and the streams I want to do is definitely. Maximilian dude. It might not be apparent from what I look from my looks right now, but Maximilian dude is such a big like inspiration for me. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> going into Hollow Stars, I was like, could it be possible? That I ever play with Maximilian, dude? <laughs> then I'm like, no, it's probably not gonna play with someone that looks cute like me. <laughs> Come on, goblin hugger. I mean, mugger. Ooh. Ooh. Get kicked in the nuts. Ah! Ooh. New enemies appear? Oh, this guy's using magic. He's an intelligent goblin. Ouch. I think I should use a strength tonic. The foul smelling tonic that gives people illusions of power. Delusions of power? You guys didn't know it's foul smelling, huh? May Benny, oh, may Benny bless you, yeah. I was so sad when um, his dog Benny passed away. Okay. It tells me to go there? Is that real? Okay, so we can just play here. <clears throat> Don't let your dreams be memes. You're right, you're right. Max it to a rank for the supers. Oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah! <laughs> he did the idol showdown. Uh, rank the super stuff. Oh man. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe in the future. Hall of Stars. <laughs> Maximilian, dude. <laughs> well timed alternate melee magic with longer combos. Okay, I see, I see. Alright, so I guess there's nothing else here 
we're good to go. It tells me to go here. All right. I ship Octavio Max. <laughs> Let's see. Boom. Who knows? Maybe if we some uh, Hollow Stars Aerial game Aerial shows Aerial. up. I wish there would be a Hollow Stars it fighting game as well. A nest of goblins. Maybe one day. Ooh. Uh, speaking of fighting games, uh, I haven't really been playing a lot of fighting games. I've mostly played fighting games during like the PS1 era. But recently, I've been getting into Guilty Gear Strive. I got King of the new King of Fighters, but the online wasn't working for me. It's annoying. Sneaky sods. Come on, Wade. Stop My stop Lord. talking a big game. I'm working on it. Now I'm not good at fighting games, no. No, I'm not leader. I'm not play on good, no way. I will have to take care of his followers first. Yes, let's kill him. I love killing zombies. Care to thin the hurt. As if mm. you have to ask. Eh. Eh. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to get to this guy first. Attack me. Wait, wait, I'm... I'm... Nice job, Wade! Nice! Oh, is that what you're talking about? The well-timed combos? But they die too fast. Wait, let's do it later. Maybe we can get a nice combo later. Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, I did see they... Oh, what happened to my... Live 2D? Oh! Let's go! Let's do some combos! Let's juggle this big boy! Uh, formidable foes. Larger enemies must be faced with caution. They have far more... Wait, I need to charge my phone. <laughs> it. Let me charge my... There we go. Larger enemy, um, they have far more HP than their smaller counterparts and will often use devastating abilities to overwhelm opponents. Use the Blessing of the Phoenix to not only deal considerable damage to these enemies, but also break their wills. Okay. We need to break their wills. His will. Nope. Nope. Please? Yeah. Eh? He's gonna swing again? No. Nope. Partial stagger. Enemies will become partially staggered. This reduces to 50%. Ugh. Perfect dodge. Oh, I, I wasn't able to follow it up. Perfect dodge! No! Oh, no! Mm. Nice too. Now what? Hitting them while they're down. Completely reducing an enemy's will gauge will stagger it. Extra damage is dealt when an enemy is fully staggered. Increasing with the okay to max at 150. This is like Final Fantasy 13. The total amount of damage dealt during this time is displayed upon the enemy regaining senses. You can hold R2 and then press square after. Oh, okay. That's cool. Nice, nice. Here's a strength tonic! I'm struggling to find where my Phoenix gauge thing is. Oh no! <laughs> Use parry. Use square. Oh. Oh, there's a parry? Let's go! Temporarily slowing down time, slowing time and leaving the opponent open to a custo customer counter. Ooh! Ooh! Get partially staggered, Bic! Ooh! Eh! <laughs> nope! Do it again! E. Let's go! Ooh. Nice, 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty cool. You're gonna die, Gigas, Gigas, whatever your name is. I'm gonna jump and kill you in the air. Let's go. Oh, I love the slowdown at the end. <laughs> you know what that is? Is that a Kingdom Hearts reference? <laughs> God damn it. Of course not. It's just a slowdown. Um, I'm confused as to when I'm able to use the R2 plus square. I don't see a I don't see a gauge where I can use it. Kingdom Hearts mentioned. <laughs> Level up, nice. Bottom right. Okay, let me let me check that. Following important battles, a separate results screen will appear. Displaying battle performance and rewards. Rewards are based on performance. Of course, the rewards. Yo, Eevee, thanks for the super. But do you also play F14? If you do, yeah, I do also play F14. Uh, I'll definitely maybe stream it in the future. I just need, I still haven't played Endwalker. I want to play Endwalker. That's what I'm going to do. I love Shadowbringers to death. <clears throat> Thank you, South Elysium Internet Company. Thank you for the increased internet. Thank you. <clears throat> Oh, you'll see the circle filling up. I see. Cool. I'll check it. I'll check the circle. Oh, hard leather armlets. Though at first glance, this modest wrist piece might appear an uncomfortable fit for those cursed with fleshy forearms. Upon further inspection, one would be relieved to discover the band incomplete, affording its wearer a modicum of comfort, be he swine or starveling. Cool. Cool. Starveling. Thanks for the internet boost! Yeah, I want to play with Flayon as well. And I guess... I guess I, if I remember correctly, Altair Senpai also played... F14. Come back and fight, you coward! Oh, come on, Wade! After him. Stop talking in such a big game! <clears throat> it's like a red border on the circle when your iconic skills are in CD. Gear can significantly improve player attributes, but only when equipped via the gear tab in the main menu. Similarly, the right abilities can turn the tide of battle, but only if learned and mastered via the abilities tab in the main menu. Oh, wait, let's check our abilities tab. Do we have enough for abilities yet? Also, how do I equip my shield end scene, ensign? A brazen seal received by all ducal shields upon completion of their accolade. May the blessing of the crystals go with us. And shield the Firebird's flame forevermore. Gear and icons. Perfect. Our hard leather armlets gives us plus 10 to defense. Cool. Do we have accessories yet? Oh no, these are the... Uh, the... Assist accessories. Okay. Cool. Abilities. Oh, let's see. We have 152 ability points. We can't still... Can we buy this? Oh, I can buy it. I can't? Oh, all right. I see. Hold triangle to increase the potency of a magic spell. Oh, I can. I, I thought I needed to link it up. Let's just buy these cheap ones. R1 to recover immediately. Yes, please. R2 plus that to pull the attention of an enemy target. It's a provoke. It's a taunt. Hold square to imbue Clive's blade with fire. Okay. Battle system is becoming <laughs> way more complicated way too fast. Use X plus square while in there to slice down. Okay. All right. I'm totally remembering all of this. Oh, it's a stinger. Let's go. Okay. It's a charge up for the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, you'll learn the combo soon enough. Taunt is the best move, really? Oh, you, you taunt and bait and dodge and parry. R1 to recover. R2 plus this oh, to taunt. Okay, I need to remember that. Hold square to imbue Clive's blade with fire. Sure. X plus square is also useful. Let's try it. Ah! A stinger! Let's go! Devil May Cry! Blech! Then if we jump, cool. If we taunt, cool. 
Nice. Nice. Oh, I can't haul this yet. Oh, good. Okay. Cool. You played Devil... Yeah, I love Devil May Cry! I do want to play Devil May Cry 5. I still haven't played it. Um, especially the version with... Uh, Virgil, the Virgil DLC, right? There's a specific version of DMC5 that has the Virgil DLC, right? I'm not sure which one. Yeah, I love Kingdom Hearts. That's why I love these action RPGs, uh, hack and slash stuff. And also RPGs just in general, the RPGs, turn-based, whatever, what have you. Those are my games, man. My games, not Apex Legends. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, enhanced edition. Yeah, exactly. I think that's what's up. It. When it comes to shooters, I actually like. Um, I guess magic shooters is how I could describe magic shooters and story shooters. No. Shooters with campaigns and stuff like that. Real, not really the competitive stuff. <laughs> you can get the DLC for normal, but enhanced comes with. Uh, okay, okay, I see. Gerard? Is this you? This ends now. Yeah, I do want to play Titanfall 2 as well. I still haven't played it. Doom! I also want to play Doom! Doom and Doom Eternal. Yes, please. Gerard, what are you doing? Ah, that? what is that? Oh, it's a Marlboro! Oh, let's go! Ah! Let me inhale your poison breath! Keep clear of its move, my lord. Breath is worse than Ooh, I know! I know! Stop backseating me, Tyler! Ah! ah, crap. Oh, man. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. Oh, I see, I see the circle now. I see the circle. Cool. Ah! Eey! I'm... The controls! Thanks for the potion, though! Oh, look at that stinger. Here we go! Ooh, nope, nope, nope. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm way too excited. I wish I had a back dash so I can get out of the way. Nice, dude. Nice! Ooh! Okay, can I do this and that and that again? Okay, cool. Can I back dash? No, I can't. There's, I have a small back dash, I guess. Your guess is as good as mine. Let me potion. Let me potion. Oh no! No! Oh, this, why am I so cool? Why am I so cool? What is going on? Cinematic strike! Oh, I love it. This is like the triangle button, Kingdom Hearts. Every It's all Kingdom Hearts, man. When the screen flashes blue like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press square before the time runs out to deliver a devastating blow. Yes! Ah! Please, give me more. My voice is changing once again. Hmm. I want to know how to combo the Phoenix thing, the Shoryuken. Okay. All right. Nope. Nope. Nice. Please. Yeah! Yeah! One more! <laughs> you think you got me? No! Ugh. Huh? Stinger! Ooh! Three, four, and do this! Ugh! What are you doing? 
Nope. Need to be faster than that, Marlboro. That's the new skill I just learned. A down thrust. Yeah! Nope. One more. Ugh, no. <laughs> nope. Not my best work. You're almost dead. That's a stagger for you. Let's go. Mm. Oh. Please. How do I chain my combos? Okay. Get wrecked. I guess I don't have MP. I don't have MP, right? No, not again! Jumpu! Yes, do it! Cinematic strike! Oh, it's a different cinematic strike! Cinematic evasion. When the screen flashes red like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press R1. Bruh, it's so cool. Ugh. Yeah. Combo that shit, please! Just combo it! Uh. Ah, 1000 magic, I mean, stagger damage only? Crap, I messed that up. Stop it, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, cool. What are you doing? Don't do that to me! Nope! 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 Ha! Get wrecked! I'd rather we made it die. Mm. Oh. You're almost dead. Almost dead. Partial stagger. Please! Nope. You're doing something. I see you. <laughs> I jumped. I jumped just in case. <laughs> Let me perfect dodge your attack. No, 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 no! No! Ha! Huh. No, no, no! Cool. Let's go! Stinger! I didn't reach. Down thrust. Ooh. You're dead. It's so October for you! Ah! Okay. Please? Does this do anything for the combo? Oh, it does! Is it not October for you yet? Eh! Stop it! Stop it! Eat! Eat! Oh, I guess I can just... No, I don't want to shoot you down! Here we go! Let's go! Nice! Of course. It needs to be a stylish finish. We can't just shoot it and let it die. <laughs> okay. There's... It's... The melee, the combo chain thing... It, it feels a bit hard. The timing, at least. I still need to get used to it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I do prefer melee. I really don't like going ranged in games. <laughs> hey, we leveled up. Seven. Cool, 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 cool. And, you know, precise dodging, parrying. Oh, ugh. yes, please. Give it to me. Give all that to me. It takes a bit of practice. If mastered the ability, the timing window is a little bit more forgiving. Okay. Magic Burst has a tiny, tiny window. I see. Well, I'm pretty sure the window increases later. Okay. All right. Does the magic... The Magic Burst can happen anywhere in the combo, right? Like one slash... Like square, then triangle, then square, square, triangle. But it you can't chain it after... If you do four squares in a triangle. Is that what's up? In any sword attack. Even the Stinger. Lunge, magic, oh, oh, after any attack. Okay, interesting. Square triangle, square triangle, okay. Oh, you mean master like spendability points. My lord. Cool, 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 cool. Thanks. Oh, thank you for the water. I never thought I'd see it. Are you sure that's not water from the swamp? <laughs> goblins in Rosaria, Probably not. More balls too. Is that Pilk? I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. Hope it's not Pilk. If we don't stop them I mean, here, I hope it's they'll Pilk. be at our gates before long. Is there a bestiary in this moving. game? We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. Cool. 
Oh, I still want to play Dragon's Dogma. Two way releases as well. This is actually giving me kind of Dragon's Dogma vibe as well. Huh! Now that I think about Damned it. Blight. When is it releasing Dragon's Dogma 2? Okay, make for Phoenix Gate. February? Ah! Oh! I mean, shit, I hope we get perms though. <laughs> that's that's the only problem, it's the perms. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. I do want to do Remake and Rebirth. Hopefully we can get perms for that. Just because I love the whole lore about the, the ghosties and stuff. I know a lot of people are like, uh, Tetsu and Nomura, well, whatever. But I'm, I'm all for that. Please, please, give it to me, Nomura san. March 22nd, according to Google. Yeah, Rue's got perms for Dark Arisen. We'll see if we can get easily get perms for two. Yeah, maybe not much of a challenge for two as well. Yeah. March. Oh, f yeah, Final Fantasy is February, then March is Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh man! I can't wait! Ah! ah. Dragon's Dogma 2 is such a gem though. More people need to play it. Let's do this. Let's travel to Phoenix Gate. Ryota Suzuki worked on both DMC5 and Dragon's Dogma, so that. Oh, okay! Oh yeah, it's the, the, the developer they got from Capcom, right? Thank you, based Square Enix. Oop. Let's travel to Phoenix Gate. Oh wait, I didn't do an ATL in the swamp though. Wait. Phoenix Gate. Let's learn about the Phoenix Gate. Okay, we can I guess we can do this ATL when we start a cutscene. Just so we know what's going on. I just hope it doesn't spoil anything though. As soon as I might not be able to catch those live, but I would probably be VOD gang. Oh yeah, yeah, true, true, true. I mean, it's so it's okay even if I stream it like months later. You know, there's also something to be said about, you know, how when you've already played a game and then you watch another streamer play it. Uh, I think that's super popular with games like Danganronpa, right? Those are fun too, even if you already have played the game. I want to play Danganronpa though. Ah, <sighs> do we have perm for that? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You'll eventually get the super lore NPC. Okay, cool, cool, cool. A walled keep situated near Rosera's northwestern border. It was originally constructed to serve as an outpost in the wars against the northern territories. But its true significance lies deep within the ruins atop which the stronghold stands. Here in an ancient chamber accessible only to the dominant of fire is held the rite of ancestral communion. The rack. Rite of Ancestral Communion, an important ritual in which it is believed that the phoenix can hear the words of the Debussy's forebears. Cool. Pretty cool. Danganronpa. Dangan 2 is your special place? Uh, V3. <laughs> Even if V3 is weird to a lot of people, especially the ending. I just love my boy Kokichi Oma. I'm the ultimate supreme leader. Kokichi Oma. Does he say his name? Yeah. I'm the ultimate supreme leader. Something like that. Okay. That explains so much about you. Shut up. <laughs> Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. Come on, Wade. You had one you cool this. moment. Come on. His lordship draws his sword. <laughs> The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down oh, he's okay. He's hyping me up. That's great. Yeah, he's gassing me up. That's good. That's good. That's exactly what you should be doing, Wade. Instead of playing basketball. Wait, Wade is already retired. So, <laughs> the young lord has a bright future ahead of him. 
Aye. Speaking of basketball, deign to join us. I do want to make an Armis versus Tempest like simulated basketball game in the future. I actually have perms for it. <laughs> I actually have perms for 2K23. Or 24? I kind of forget. I'll be making the characters. I'll be making Armis and Tempest characters. Then have them fight in a simulated basketball game. <laughs> yeah, Joshua does not care. My father. Just Joshua just wants to play his computer well, games. It has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Hmm, I. Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Oh, whoa. wait, wait, wait. Does Joshua? No, no. Joshua probably idolizes his brother. Father? Why is it that the Dominus is always born into our family? Oh, it's cool. That Joshua's voice fair. actor actually feels like an actual child. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. Yeah, an actual child. You have been That's blessed, cool. Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant. To wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do. What age was Haley Joel Osment when he voiced Sora? Oh! I'm sorry for all the Kingdom Hearts references. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the Kingdom Hearts stuff. <laughs> it's just my brain rot. That's actually well. That hit me. I'm sorry for that. It hit me. You being a fine hound. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease and. I've never really been one for cakes and ale. So I guess it seems like maybe like. Clive is... Everybody freaking loves Clive <laughs> just because he's cool. But Joshua has like the... Joshua has like a whole thing where he's super, super royalty and super important. Where people don't relate to him, I guess. I hear you slew a marble. <laughs> All the men were singing your praises. That's sad. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. Hmm. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother, the Phoenix. Yeah, he's seen as more approachable, Ruler even if he is death. royalty. Which probably sucks for sucks for Could Joshua. Because they're kind of the same. Ish. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength. But you do. Yeah, they both have their issues. 
with each other, kind of? Every man has his duty. Bruh. It's such was decided that's John Snow coded. When our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. That's all to ensure Ran our nation stood Althor. On the precipice. The Phoenix would coded, rise from kinda. the flames to drag us back from the brink. After book three. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your two. duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets. I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. Yeah, I forget the actual quote from Rand. I think it goes like, Death like is that, you need to take easy, or something like that, and something is duty. Right? Something. What a cute little boy. I, should go I hope inside. nothing happens to Joshua. Good night, Toggle. You're so cute! I don't want anything to happen to Torgo! Please! <laughs> okay, what's with this Metal Gear Solid music? Oh no! Oh no! What is this? It's a Trojan horse! Yeah, exposed arms and shoulders. Yeah, it's a choice. <laughs> this place doesn't strike me as particularly hot, too. You took your time sampling the wearers, were you? <laughs> he has a fully modeled face! He's an enemy! It's a good job the North is he doesn't have a mask on! He's an important character. Ah! No! What in the... Oh no. Why you do that? Why you do that? Why you do that? Gateway secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. Oh, are these the iron, iron, iron-blooded peeps? Wait a second. Oh, father and the army are away. Oh shit! I mean, crap, frack. Not irons. Okay, okay. Probably new peeps. Wait, let's see something. I want to see something. Okay. Oh, wait, let's read about Joshua Rossfield really quick. Second son of the Archduke of Rosaria, Joshua was... Wait, I already read this. I already read this. No. No. The carrot lore? He's so cool. Minor update at the end. Ah, crap. Wait. I don't want to ruin the pacing too much. Is that... No, they're already fighting! No! Oh, I love that. I love how it's just little noises. He's so cute, Forgive though! Me, my prince. It's me. <laughs> Wait, you probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, Your Highness. Please, Wade. Please. Very well. Good job, Wade. I'm ready. Follow me, Your Highness. What? I'm Joshua? Excuse me? 
Flight of the Fledgling. Bro. Hey. He's so cool. What was the update at the end? Um, his love and admiration for his elder brother Clive is absolute, and he's only too proud to have him serve as his first shield. His love for carrots, less so. Okay, I see what's up. <laughs> then Sir Wade! Sir Wade! A loyal shield... Look at his hair, though. That's some conditioned hair. A loyal shield of Rosaria chosen by Lord Commander Rodney Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind. Once but a low-born page, Wade was inspired to join the ranks after a woodpile fell on him and his life was saved by a young... Okay, by a young Joshua, I see. Yeah, they have amazing shampoo. Probably smells like roses too, right? Since it's Rosaria. Wait, can you attack? Wow! I can attack? I can magic? Bruh. Bruh. I can cure Raga? I'm five years old and I can use Kiraga? Wait, that was like a that was a fire fire themed Kiraga? Bro, that's so cool. But he's yeah, he's tuckered out, yeah. That's a fire Kiraga, that's so cool. Any treasure chest though? I'm disappointed, where are the treasure chests? <laughs> no Zehanort reports? Nort ports? Hey, South Elysium Engine Company. Gerard is making you and Sims for his... I need to look at that later. I need to look at that later. <laughs> it's gonna make me look interesting, huh? Well, we'll see. We'll see who gets the short end of the stick when I make his face in NBA 2K24. You'll get a piece of my mind. Ha! Are the enemy already ha! inside the castle? I'm okay. So, Time to focus. Time to focus. Time to focus. If any of you are Gerard's stream, tell him I'll have my revenge. Uh, tell it in a menacing way. Like, put like a scary emoji somewhere, okay? All right. Oh, I love the lighting, though. Oh, no. But I need to find treasure first. No treasure? Okay, no treasures? All right. Yeah, the devil emoji, exactly. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. I'm scared. I don't want to see what's happening in the battlefield. What was that? Don't worry, I got you, Wade. I have to help them. In a different life, you're the main character of Final Fantasy 16. All right. Why do I have to open the door? Everything's on fire. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh no! 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 Oh, no! 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 I must do my duty. No, I'll help you. I'll help you. Bro. Yeah, no. Good job, Wade. Good job! Oh look, a lucky emblem! <laughs> Did you do anything special with Taylor's birthday today? I, I am feeling like doing a membership watch along of the Era's Extended Tour version. The Era's Tour Extended version. This is San Braquois, Garb. San Braquois? San Braquois? Oh, here we go! We got lore! The Holy Empire of San Braquois! Sambrek, a nation occupying the northeastern reaches of the continent of Storm, with the great city of Oriflam as its capital. Sambrek is the realm's largest theocracy and home to the mommy crystal's Drake's head. Eh? Oh! Under the rule of the Holy Emperor, the people of Sambrek enjoy a life of plenty thanks to the crystal's blessing, which they believe to be a gift from a goddess, Griagor. Herself. Cool. Cool. We must find my father. Thank you, Sam Breck. Wait, I'm so confused. Sam Breck holds the Drake's breath. 
Wait, so is Rosaria and the Iron people fighting over the Drake's breath in Sambrak? Oh, Drake's head. Drake's head. Okay, not... Okay. All right. It's another... It's another mommy. Another hot mother in your area. Yeah, we'll get it clear in the future. <clears throat> oh, let's cook. Let us cook. Drake's breath and Drake... That's interesting. Why is it all Drake? Ha! <laughs> That's super cool. Oh, man. There must be a reason why it's all Drake. Do the mother crystals form a daddy crystal? And uh, here we go again. With a debussy. God damn it. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do it. Nope. Get away! Wade, I might burn you. Why would the Empire do this? They're all we got two gil. We got two gil. Two gil for our troubles. Thank you, Wade. He's in the way, though. <laughs> if this was another game, <laughs> put your whole up to view and say no. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, I do have a sword. <laughs> It's a cool sword. Oh, wait, wait. This is probably not the place to go. I have the dominant. Yeah! Yeah! Firaga! <laughs> Get firaga <laughs> Let's go. Where's the... Okay, there. There was a way down earlier. I love that they're grunts and I'm just casting Faraga on them. Oh, treasure chest, finally? Treasure... Nah, just fire. It's all just fire. It's no treasure chests. Well, huh. interesting. <laughs> use Giga Floor as much as possible. Th that's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong. I only use one character in Smash Bros. I literally bought Smash Bros just for one character. Who is that character? I'm sure you know. I'm sure you know. And here is what I did, okay? Here's what I did. I didn't even fight any other character. The only characters I fought is Sora as well. I did a one Sora versus seven Sora game. It's all just that. And then once I finish it, I was done with it. Oh no, Tyler! Tyler! I can save him. Your Highness, I, uh... I'm so surprised. I never would have guessed. Don't worry. <laughs> Couldn't be me, it man. Be right. No, Tyler, you can do it. Let's cauterize your wound, I guess. Oh no, 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 no. Wade, protect me. Shit, no. No. Please, Wade, baby boy. Oh yeah, Kiraga, come on. Kiraja. Oh no! Tonight will be the night. Come here. Oh, let's go. Clive is here. I, 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 <laughs> Someone said in chat earlier, Clive backwards is evil. But you forgot the C. So evil. Your Grace, Lord Murdoch. <laughs> evil. You rescued the young prince. Damn, Wade's getting a promotion. I'm in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh. We cannot stay here. <laughs> what if he just got he just he just died by fire after bowing like that? The evil the C in evil C stands for Clive. Evil Clive. <laughs> okay. Wait, so if Joshua's the dominant, does that mean there was a dominant before Joshua? Hey Y2 Dunger. It's a bit of token happy that y'all be the expo. Oh, thank you so much. All the best and thank you for the super as well, yeah. 
I'm oh, super excited to be at the expo. Let's go. Ooh. That's a language. Speed you to Rosalith. Hedwig? Oh shit, people are fighting. The north gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take just said Joshua chocobos and get to like safety. it's a chocolate. No. What? I'm not going without you. Chocobos. It's supposed to be my shield, remember? What's going on? Isn't it chocobos? Which is why I'm going to hold <laughs> the enemy here. Why with the chocobos? Escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. Now I'm getting hungry. Now I want some chocobos. Chocolate chocobos. You must do your duty too. No, we're gonna get separated. This no. is the canon event. Oh, the music! Oh! You have to keep father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Let's do it. They're such cute brothers. I love it. Oh. Oh, I thought. Oh, oh you jump scare. <laughs> that was a near death jump scare there. That was gonna kill me. Here we go. Back to my boy, Clive. My guy, my main man. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Okay. Is there a treasure chest here? Nah. Let's go. Let's mess some Sambrequa. Sambrequa. Sambrequa men. Up. Stone skin tonic. How dare you come in? To my house and kill us, Sambrequa! <laughs> Ouch, I forgot the controls. Ooh. Ooh! Let's go! Nice. Can I magic burst after a Phoenix attack? I'll try, I guess. No more Faragas for you! Oh, you can buy the other ability now. Thank you. We're telling me. Where is that? Abilities. Oh, yeah, this one. We'll try and kill to increase. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. Oh, so. Oh, okay. So, this. We already know this. We just have to master it. 300 to master. Damn! Look at that combo, though. Oh, S literally square triangle, square triangle, square triangle, square tri Oh! Executing a dodge with R1. Okay. Nice, nice. Oh, there's, there's more up there? Let me see, let me see. Oh, there's more! Fiery wing that deals damage and can launch lighter enemies into the air. Is there a follow-up, like, jump? After you launch an enemy, use the blessing of the phoenix to close. Okay, okay. These are locked. All right. Let's go. Ah, I can't wait to get more into the battle system. But also, I'm gonna get so pissed when I over level like the main story. Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully not. That's the correct way. So therefore, we're going here. Oh wait, we already came from here. Whatever. Let's go here instead. All right. Oh, items, shinies! Give me all the loot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Potion and high potion, nice. That's the place to go with my animal instinct. Yeah. My animal's instinct's tingling. Push it. Let's go. Time for murder. Oh. You want over level? Nice, thank you. Oh, 
Please, I hope I don't. I, I really hope. Look at this guy's walk. So fancy. Let none escape. <laughs> it's time for murder indeed. <laughs> Didn't expect this, huh? Nah. You're not getting me, you mage. Ah. Coward. Yo, let's go! I love it! I love it already! I love it with all my heart! Kicked in the face. That's them done. Are you alright? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should have. Oh, back. this game is so fun! Oh shit! A dragoon! Whoa, the pose! Ayo, hey, Aranea, is that you? <laughs> Cinematic Vader. Bro, let's go. That's so cool, the music, too. Estinian? <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. Mm. 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 No, you're not getting me. <laughs> Perfect dodge. Ouch. 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 Wait, let me heal. Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't able to perfect dodge. I did a swift recovery, though. Ooh. 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 Oh. Ah, you can't get me with your mechanics. I played Final Fantasy XIV. Ugh. Nah. Ugh. I'm sorry. For taunting you like that. Ooh. Wait, can I do this? That doesn't do anything, right? Staggered. Ooh. 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 Oh no no no. I messed that up. Oh I messed it. I'm messing it up. Eh? Come on, let's go. Cool. Oh, I parried it, but I didn't follow it up. Bro. Oh, no, that killed the guy. I don't want to spoil. <laughs> that attack killed a certain guy that everybody loved. Let's go. Quicker. Quick. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. Messing it up. Okay. You're going to regret that boy. I'm not a boy. Not yet a woman. I'm not a girl. Not yet a woman. Perfect! Dodge! Nope. You're not getting me with that. Ooh. Stinger. Like in OBS. Ah, crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah. No, I'm using... I, I use a high potion for some reason. No. Uh. Get wrecked. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do it. Ah, I'm messing it up. Timing. Ah, do it again. Can't see you. Ah, here we go. Ah, I got it. Ah! We're gonna jump. Oh, that was a nice kill. <laughs> right in the face. Ah. Oh. Oh. The adrenaline. The adrenaline in my heart. Ah. Let's go. <laughs> that last jump attack was so nice. Right in the neck. Get wrecked. What, what was his name? Dragoon? Mm. I wish I could become a dragoon eventually. Is that a thing? Hmm. This game will, will punish cockiness. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's October. I should have said it's October. Damn it. Are you Ryan J's VA is in here? Huh. 
spoils. Ooh. Are you hurt? Murdoch. Thank you for supporting me in battle. So they sent in the dragoons. Is this Estinian? Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Is this Freya? Nah, probably not Freya. Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. <laughs> Floor tank dragoons. <laughs> You're right. It. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. <laughs> if they were already among us. <gasps> if there are others. Father and Joshua are in danger. Among us. We must hurry. Take your steed. Wait, that guy was also voiced by Astinian? No way. Is he? Oh! It's Xehanort. Light. Darkness. It's the Asians, yeah. It's Organization 13, it's the Asians. It's all of them combined. Light. Darkness. The 13... Pure lights. <laughs> Thirteen darknesses. Oh, I don't know. Pure light. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, nice. Really. They got Estinian for safe? that little dragoon that we just killed. It. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. Awaken. <laughs> Awaken, motherfucker. No! Not the chocobo! Not the chocobo! Father? Oh, crap. Sorry, your grace, but oh, crap. Be possible. No! Not Hedwig! You, you are on the snakes! Stay back! I'm warning you! Run, Joshua, run. Wait, this is betrayal, right? No! Holy shit! I mean, yeah. Oh wow! Was he beheaded? No, not Wade! Not Wade! Bruh. That guy's dead. Who even are you? You must do your duty too. We have to keep Father safe. Oh wow, I can feel his heartbeat in heartbeat in my hand. Hmm. I'm counting on you. Eh? Joshua. Oh there it is! Wait! My I'm getting goosebumps right now. Holy shit! Oh no! Oh, he's gonna turn into the Phoenix! Phoenix. That's it! Oh, wait. Can he control it? Oh no, oh no. Oh no! Is that Wade? <laughs> no. Stop this! Oh no, he can't control it. Holy shit. No. He's lost control. I have to do something. I have to that was that way, thank help, you. My lord. Thank God. Thank Metia. Yeah. Oh boy. Run. Almost died there. No! Oh thank you, Chocobo. No! No! Stop killing animals! Eh? No! 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 Stop killing animals! Why? Please. Please. 
Who said <laughs> Bias special? No way. Oh. Oh! Come on! Got his shield. Do your duty. Oh wait! Save him! Oh no! Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it didn't My miss. Lord? It didn't miss Clive. The jeans didn't miss Clive. Oh my god! So that's what happens, okay. He got Ifrit instead! Yo, we're so back! We're so back! <laughs> he got Ifrit! Yo, let's go! The brothers are fighting! Oh, our first actual... Oh, this is the intro! Ah! Let's do it, let's do it. Who are you? <laughs> Not the gotcha pull. <laughs> This game is so expensive looking. I feel like I'm in a luxury brand store. Looking at $200,000 bags. Oh! Oh! The music! <laughs> oh, look at the fighting game UI! Embodying the Phoenix. Wait, I'm Joshua! The following commands are available in Planes of Phoenix. Fire, uh, okay. Oh, I'm Joshua. I'm in a freaking Louis Vuitton store and I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! I still got hit. Crap. Oh, the lyrics as well, the music, the choir. Ah! Ha! Precision dodge. Gotcha. Guys, I I think I'm having a nergasm right now. <laughs> my eyes are like, oh. my eyes are eating. My heart is eating. My soul. That's such a boomer term. Nerdgasm? <laughs> Holy crap! Ugh! Oh. Where is this? This is underground? Oh, Joshua's so in- Oh, crap! I was too focused on the free the music Please don't hit me free no please don't this music I'm crying I want to cry right now <laughs> Look how far we've come Final Fantasy Look how far we freaking come oh my god Oh. I have to stop him. Ugh. I have to save him. And Joshua is just so innocent. Wait, that means Joshua can control the Phoenix already, right? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. This is how the fights in the PS1 era played in my head. Oh. Oh. No, don't hit me! Ugh. I got it! Oh, this is the Apodotutari. Oh, so basically Joshua is undergoing the tri trial of the Phoenix right now, kinda? 
a bit. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. What in the world is going on? And I thought 7 Remake was crazy. <laughs> no, please don't hit me. Ah! Uh. And I yeah, and I messed up way because his dad's dead now. I see. Let's go, Joshua. I love it, I love it. Wait, does that mean... I wonder if Ifrit is supposed to have a trial as well, or... Is his whole life gonna be his trial? <laughs> Ooh... Icon of parkour! No, not the far icon of parkour! <laughs> Stop it! Stop being funny! <laughs> uh. Holy moly! No! You can't hit me! <laughs> oh shit! Is this the... is Hellfire thing? Damnation in... No! No, don't you dare put me on a freaking timer. No! Not the limit break! Yeah, the enrage, it's hellfire. Can I can I dodge this? Did I die? I died! Huh? Oh no, of course! Of course! <laughs> oh, that is that is way too intense. <laughs> wait, wait, give me a moment. <laughs> give me a moment. Mm. Give me a damn moment. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it because in previous games, right? It's just the Phoenix is like the guy that just resurrects your party and all of that. It's so cool to see it like actually fighting and then it uses its kind of limit break or whatever at the end to revive itself. Oh, 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 this is the end of the demo. Yeah, I actually played maybe three minutes of the demo. Um, maybe three months ago, and I was like, "Nope, nope, I'm gonna save it for Hollow Stars." <laughs> huh. Ooh. I'm trying to imagine what the other fights will be. But I can't. Oh my gosh. They made Phoenix epic in this one. I I I wish 17 would just Somehow have my favorite summon is Quetzalcoatl. I don't know how to say it. No, no, don't, don't freaking Kratos my Phoenix, Bruh. No, no, what? What is going on? No, stop it! Oh. Oh, did I? Huh? No, stop it! Holy shit, this is brutal! No!
Holy shit, no! No! He's just a little boy! No! Oh! The voice acting, holy crap! Wait, did forget did this guy win anything in the Game Awards? Because holy shit! Eh? Please. Oh wow, even that guy is doing great. Best music? Oh, mess, that monster, oh, another award show? Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. <laughs> it was just light shined in his eyes. <laughs> oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we Best can do? music? I see. I mean, the music is incredible. Haven't you done enough, Captain? Oh, Astarian, I'm right, sure right. I mean, world. Astarian is great as well. And now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Yeah, 2023 has been a crazy year for games. Crazy. One of the most like jam-packed years. Your Grace, over here. Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Starfield. No matter what you feel about those games, right? The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. What? Wait. As my husband. I love you, Annabella. You're great. Me. I love you. He is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front. I will win your love, Annabella. <clears throat> All in its right place. We can fix her. Octo hey! Take this one. What? <laughs> Chin up, lad. No, we don't need to fix her. You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. Oh, what? Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, that's so good. You can't not fix her. <laughs> we don't need to fix her. She's perfect the way she is. Yeah, title drop. This truly was the Final Fantasy 16. Oh, 13 years later. 13! Happy birthday, Taylor Swift! The Nysa Defile. I'm a Nysa Defile your face. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. Oh no. <laughs> what was his name? Biat. Biak, Biak, no, Bias, Bias, the Bias special. As you the Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Bias's. Bias. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. Wait, 
13 years I'll later, do we have like 13 do. years is. worth of level ups? Whom's? I won't be dying. You see that blood? Not today. That puddle of blood underneath settled. the big boulder no earlier? There was a character there now, if you don't named mind, Biost. We have an army he got freaking bouldered. I mean, rocked. Squished by a boulder. You know what? Speaking of weird names, can you guys guess? <laughs> of course you can't, but I'm just gonna put it out there. Can you guys guess what I named the character in Final Fantasy Tactics? Right? His name is Ramza, right? The Final Fantasy Tactics character. You guys <laughs> you definitely cannot guess what I named the character in Final Fantasy Tactics. And I also don't know why I named him this way. Not Ramasi, no, Gordon, no, 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 no. I named him Bamaramon. And I don't know why. And what's funny is I forgot that I named him Bamaramon. That when he showed up in Final Fantasy 14 years later, I mean, Dissidia, maybe. I was like, wait, isn't this guy named Bamaramon? <laughs> Isn't this guy named Bamoramon? Why is he named Ramza? <laughs> Apparently not. His name is Bamoramon. I mean, Ramza. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in my head sometimes. Sometimes my head is... My head just does things, you know. <sighs> New iconic abilities. Uh, how, how could you guess that? <laughs> the iconic abilities Scarlet, Cyclone, and Heat Wave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition to upgrade on the abilities tab in the main menu. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, Ramza Beowulf is now available for redemption. These items can be claimed from the system tab in the How main menu. How do I do that? Do I need to purchase it from PlayStation Store? Oh, here. Ket, uh, Kate Sith Charm. There was a whole thing on Twitter a few weeks ago about the pronunciation of this. It's either Kate Sith or Ketchi. Uh, good luck charm modeled after the front foot of the mythical Ketchi. Kate Sith. A cat with a pelt of spun gold whose claws rake in treasure from the very earth. The legend likely has its origins in apocryphal tales of the common Valistian coral. What with the rich golden gloss of the creature's coat and its distinctive habit of pawing at the ground before striking on its prey. Is this... Um... Here is a Braveheart. Taking up this ancient hooked longsword in one's hands invokes strange yet familiar images of four nameless warriors. Oh, is this a reference to like... The Warriors of Light in Final Fantasy 1? Uh, four who embark on a perilous journey to save their realm. Cool, 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 cool. Onion sword? Onion? Where are you? Onion, my baby boy? You have a sword? This is where the Onion Knight sword, right? Taking up this radiant blade of gold and turquoise in one's hands invokes strange yet familiar images of four homespun youths on a journey to quench the coming darkness. Um, I have a question. We need a five children Octavio renaming of all what? <laughs> Onion sword sounds promising. I have a question. If I use these items, does, do they make me OP? Like, are they super heckin' strong? No. Just compare this kind of? Yep, very for a while. Um. Uh. Or at least, or at least the the money one. I don't want to get strapped for money. Maybe I should use that. The Kate Sith charm. Yeah. Better, but not for long. Hmm. Hmm. I want to see what they look like though. Braveheart. Let's see what they look. Kill something that can do oh, it looks this. so cool though. They don't. It's the, the Warrior of Light blade. Look at that. Cool. Let's see the other one. Onion sword. Oh? 
DLC weapon damage falls off fast enough, it's whatever. Uh. Okay. I mean, it does look cool, but yeah, you're right. It's kind of... It feels like it doesn't fit. <laughs> this feels like it fits. Okay, whatever. Um, I'll just use this. Oh, look at the Beast special. He's dead. Yeah, the thing I don't like about like DLCs and stuff, where they give you like bonuses <laughs> at the very start, it kind of. There are some games where you just use that DLC weapon for like maybe fifty percent of the game. And what happens is there are so many weapons, you, you come up on so many weapons and you never use them because a DLC weapon is just way better. So I think the, yeah, Kate's the charm. I'll just use that instead. Who's that guy again? Uh, Biast was part of our party in the beginning. I guess he isn't really important, right? But he's there. He died. Oh, we got more lore. Wait, so the so the little dot means we haven't read them yet, right? Persona 5 DLCs are amazing. Oh, I still need to play Persona 5 Royal. I have only played the original Persona 5. Um, I think Nier Automata DLC weapons were really good. I'm trying to remember them. I need to play that game again. Okay. Wyvern. I guess he changed his name now. A slave soldier for all he became... A soldier of Sembrek, now in his 13th year of servitude, though drafted as a frontline infantryman. Oh. The magical might granted him by the blessing of the Phoenix. So he still has the blessing of the Phoenix, even if he, <laughs> he just killed the Phoenix um, to an elite squadron of assassins where he was assigned the moniker by which he is now known. Their latest mission to descend into the Nysa Defile, where bloody battle rages between the Iron Kingdom and they're all, oh, so those are the, the factions fighting. The Iron Kingdom and the Republic of Dalmechia. Dalmechia reminds me of Dalmasca, by the way. Final Fantasy XII, one of my favorites as well. Nine, twelve. Yeah. Nine, twelve, four, I guess? Or six? Something like that. Dalmatians and take the head of Shiva's dominant. Okay. <clears throat> The Nysa Defile, a deep, arid valley located in the eastern part of the Dalmechian Republic. During the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, it was a site of repeated skirmishes as the Iron Kingdom attempted to make incursions into Dalmechian territory. Battle of the Twin Realms. Okay. Branded Soldier, what are these guys? Bearers forced to fight for the nations that enslaved them. Okay. Oh, Bearers! They're like the ones that was making water earlier or cutting the grass. Able to cast powerful magics at entirely disposable, they are often placed on the front lines in battle or assigned to highly dangerous scouting or assassination missions. The bastards! Being glorious bastards? Yeah, the benders. 12 is Gota? Yeah, 12 is so good. Even if it went through like development kind of hell with the changing of directors or something like that, it was so good. Still so good. A unit of Imperial Army Assassins tasked with taking the head of the Iron Kingdom's dominant Warden of Ice and Vessel for the Icon, Shiva. Oh, so we need to get the head of Shiva or some or her dominant or something like that. All of its members, including its leader Tiamat, are bearers, branded men pressed into servitude for their ability to wield magic. Cool, 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 cool. Titan, look at this boy! The Warden of Earth, of whom Hugo Kupka. Hugo Kupka? Is the current dominant. He takes oh that's that was a big guy earlier who had to carry the girl because she was she had an injury. He takes the form of a stone skinned giant whose granite fists shake the earth with every mighty You know what? There's been a recent like freaking increase in popularity of Titan, right? Ever since Final Fantasy 14, I guess. I don't really remember too much of Titan like during the PS1 era. But for some reason, he's like in everything now. Titan's dominant awakens among the peoples of Dal Dalmechian deserts. The recipient of his strength being granted great power and status by the Republic in return for a commitment to protect the nation in times of war. 
yeah, I, I definitely do want to do raids in Final Fantasy XIV. I'm not sure if it just makes for good stream content. I don't know. I'm still thinking. <clears throat> I was able to finish the um. I was able to finish the up to the Kefka, the Kefka raid, the Savage Kefka raid. That was so cool. No, not Titan Gel. Who <laughs> stop it? <laughs> Kupka in Polish means small. Poop. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Warden of Ice whose appearance ooh, on the battlefield makes our enemies' blood run cold. The Iron Blood sent Shiva against the Republican forces in the Knights of Defile, where she dueled against Titan, the icon of Earth. Cool, 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 cool. Stop it! No Titan gel! <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's see what's up here. I need to I need to think about how to do the raids though. I still haven't Maybe I should ask Fleon or Altair for advice about how to do it. How to do Ever 14 in general. Here in Hollow Stars, you know? <laughs> Stop it. The trails are gone. There'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? Okay. Wait. How many hours is it? It's almost four hours? Ha! Easy peasy! Let's do more, let's play more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing about raids is that it's just a lot of repetition, I guess. Right? By the flames. I feel like I've barely gotten combat experience yet. I want to play more. Now this is what happens to me if I really love the game. Damn. I remember back when I played Fire Emblem Three Houses. I was playing that game for like, what, 10 hours a day? Straight. I, I know life that game. So good. Into funny mechanic callouts. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the callouts can be pretty crazy. Though I do play on the J a JP server, and it's nice because whenever you start a raid, they have like graphics in the text box, <laughs> and I just have to figure that out sometimes. Which house was your fave? Of course, it's the it's the Edelgard house. Of course. I freaking love Edelgard. Even if she's crazy and evil. <laughs> Did you hear that? Down there. <laughs> support our women's wrongs, so, exactly! <laughs> Titan has knocked the fight out of We support women's friends. wrongs. <laughs> Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Hang what? Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. I actually really love the the green-haired dragon girl. You certain? The crystalline orb. Just because she sounds she sounds like a Disney princess. People. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Oh, dominance aren't as only their cool. priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. In the Iron Kingdom, okay. We end this quickly. Oh wait, wait, yeah, there are a bunch of green-haired girls. Um, uh, Flane, I guess. I think it's Flane, yeah. Oh, is that Jill? Nope. Oh, long-haired Jill, let's go! Where's Annabella? What does Annabella look like 13 years later? We need to see. What alvation now king? Alad Scully asked. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Death. Oh, a rapier? Oh no. 
Oh no, we're gonna fight Jill? Are we Jill? Avis, oh yeah, we need to fight Jill! Ah, stop it! Wait, you focus on the target. I wanna... Understood. Wait, I wanna kill you last, Jill. Ooh. Do I have a new attack? I do have a new- Wow! Okay. Bruh. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. Oh. Ha! Think you got me? Ah, no, no. Ah, no, crap. She's a bit hard to read, I think. E. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I need to be careful. Ah! I knew it! Nice. Do that! No, 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 no! Ooh! I got a precision dodge. I keep forgetting to follow it up. Stop being so hard, Jill. I can't with your blue magic. Nice. Nice, you. Cool. Cool. I can't do it again. Okay. What are you doing? No! No! Ooh! Cool. I need to remember to do this while waiting. Nice. Oh, I'm in the way. Nope. Nope. Ah, so many things. I see you. I see what you're doing. Stop with the Final Fantasy XIV mechanics. Ooh. Oh. I will not have their blood on my hands. Ooh. Hello? Too slow. Ooh. What is this? What is that? Stop it! Stop whatever you're doing! Nice! Ah. Please? Let's do a cool attack! I wanna do a cool attack! Ah, no! No style points for that! No style points! <laughs> I wanted to do a nice, like, Phoenix attack, but aww. But hey, that was a fun fight! I liked it! Stop with no, not minus 100, at least 10. Nah, it was, it was just a normal square attack. It sucks. <laughs> that was a fun fight. I like it. Frozen Tear. And as she fought, she shed tears of ice, which shattered on the bloodstained earth below. A Dalmechian soldier's account of the Battle of Nysa, year of the realm 873. Used in crafting? There's crafting, huh? You got the potion, we got the whole steel silk. A rare case in which hyperbole has played no role in the item's nomenclature. Oh, it's literally steel silk. It is every bit as strong as steel, yet soft as silk. Making it a popular choice for tailors tasked with crafting durable armor that does not hinder movement. Okay, that's cool. I'm sorry, Jill. Yeah, <laughs> I defeated the poor injured woman with a regular bonk. <laughs> that is style minus 100. I am ashamed. Also, that guy's mustache is nice. She's like a gray-haired ha Taylor Swift. No. <laughs> Not every woman in the game is Taylor Swift, please. Is she dead? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I wanted to do well, the whirlwind. The, what are you waiting the for? The Phoenix whirlwind. No! That's our wife! Aw. Ah! Oh, the memories! The memories are coming back! Oh, did he forget? 
garden here. Oh no. Oh no. Goodbye, brothers. We're gonna kill you. No! Oh, what? Thanks for the memories. Holy shit. This game has a lot of... Fuck. This game is surprising me. <laughs> With all the blood and the actual, like, gore. Well, it's still kind of light gore, but damn. Go company. No ruse! <laughs> Eh. This is my wife now. How are you doing? This is my wife. You're not gonna kill my wife. Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards. I'm sorry, Jill. Is this gonna have a nice little romance? I hope it does. I love romance. It's been a while since Final Fantasy had actual romance, I feel like. Wait, I wanna kill this mage guy. Are you a mage? Ugh. Yes, let's do it! Let's go! You guys suck! Man! Who trained you? <laughs> yeah! It's over. It's so October. Big nuke incoming. Ooh. Nice. Now that that's done. Yeah, F10. Yuna and Titus. Yeah, I true. Ask you again, Wyvern. Oh no! Take her head so we can be We're gonna fight Tiamat? <laughs> Lord Murderful it threatened to flatten you in a very suggestive way, you're right. You would betray the Holy Oh no! Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. These subtitles are way too big. with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. Bruh, let's go. I love it. I love you, Clive. The Empire will have if we return I want you to keep speaking. So, you won't take hers, I'll have to so I can. I need to listen to your dialogue. I can't understand I can't you when I'm it. squaring you we'll to death. Today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Crap. Ugh. Nope. Can I parry you? Come on, let's go. <clears throat> eh. Oh, I'm doing. I'm not doing well. Wait. What am I doing? It's a wrong button. Wee! Ah! Get right. Ooh! I want to get more abilities soon. Ah, let's go. Eh. No. Who gave you a name when you had none? Oh. You speak as if we don't bear the same brand, son. I've oh. always had a name. What are you doing? Ugh. I've not forgotten. Ha! Eh, no. Stop it. When you will die, as you should have 13 he. years ago. Shish. Shish kebab. Eh. The combos. And I will not fall by your hand. Oh. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yee. Oh. <laughs> Think you got me? <laughs> yeah. It's October. Wee! Oh, that was so cool! <laughs> Tiamat base, I mean bested! That was so cool though! Huh? The little dodge, then the BAM! Oh, I wish I had hands. I wish I had hands! So I can show you exactly! 
It was, it was like this, right? I was like, yeah. So I, I got, I dodged it. I was like, huh. Then what I did was I did this. Wait, 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 wait. no, no, no. So I, I did that. Huh. Then I did this with my hands. Let's go! That was so cool! <laughs> oh man, this game is great. I love it. I love it so much. <sighs> Why do these games just come like once every 10 years? <laughs> Nailed the recap. Thank you. Thank you. No, not my PP. No, my PP is private. We're right. We're right. To most, this nondescript lump of rough hewn stone is but a nuisance upon which to stub one's toe. <laughs> okay. Uh, to the blacksmith, however, it is much, much more for the metal contained within may be fashioned into expensive yet durable gear favored by warriors across the realm. Cool. <laughs> Did the XPP now? No. Can't see the PP. It's micro. Because uh, I'm a small king. Short King. Meteorite. Just as drops of molten iron fall from a smith's oven to the floor to cool, so too do they fall from this... Stop. 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 We put a period... We put a pin in that conversation. We're reading lore, okay? Meteorite. Just as drops of molten iron fall from a smith's oven to the floor to cool, so too do they fall from the celestial foundry where the gods forge their divine instruments of war. Or so it is believed. We call these otherworldly outcastings meteorites. That's what it's called in South Elysium too. Meteorites. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Why are you blaming chat? Because you keep chatting. You keep typing. <laughs> oh. They're like, oh, it's so boring. He's protecting a girl. Oh, he's protecting a girl. I like how no one's talking. They're just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe we're literally just gonna die like that. Before- What is this? Is this Ramu? What is going on? This is overkill. <laughs> overkill for these boys. Ramu? Ramu is in this game? Ramu? <laughs> Ramu? <laughs> Oh, what's this is percussion-y. Torgal! Torgal! Is that Torgal? Oh, look at that stubble. This way. Look at that, that voice, though. Chris Hemsworth. Bloody winged. Well, come on, man. Sir, what is your pack smoking history? Excuse me. Fuck. Fuck. Wait, is that Torgal? Chris Hemsworth wishes he was him. <laughs> Daddy said, Yamete. <laughs> you just moaned, no. Keep it in, keep it in. Yeah, is that Torgal? Bruh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that sky. Hugo it's a really tight sky. With that, you had taken care when chasing the hare. I expected more from the mighty Titan. She has a cigarette thing too? You put the Ice Queen on her back. No doubt. Benedict, stop it! Stop <laughs> smoldering like that! You need to stop! But you'll have to work hard. Stop, Benedict! I'm trying to appreciate the sky. soon enough. You 
always were fucking snakes, Sid. <gasps> Gather the men. <gasps> we have work to do. Oh, thank God. Thank God she's gone. Now we can actually concentrate. Now Chad can concentrate on playing the, watching the game. Okay? Stop it. Jill. Is Thank you, really Final you? Fantasy. Or... Torgal? Torgal? Is it you? My baby boy? And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Wait, I'm Torgal. confused. Why did... Torgal? His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. What is this voice? <laughs> How do you develop a voice I've like always that? Pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Wait. So, what well, happened now, to Torgo? I guess he got Torgo at the end of wildfire. 13 years ago. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. Daddy said Kimochi. I heard rumors Stop that you'd survived. But I never oh, he said. I just noticed. Is this the most badass Sid in Final Fantasy? <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. Sid is like a hundred pack years smoking his three. It's crazy. He needs he needs medication for Not incoming for lung cancer. Still my And what, he's like 30 years opinion. old? Back her up. Who's that big guy, Hodor? He sounds like me! <laughs> I mean it. He's like, eh? Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's alright. What a cute big guy. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, 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 Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. Goats. He's goaded. Goats and Sid. Goets. I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Finally! We're back with Torgo! He's a goat, Sid, FF Multiverse, the goat. Oh, I'm confused. Remember when we were pummeling freaking, uh, what was his name? Joshua into the ground. We heard Torgal, right? Then somehow we saw Ifrit from a third person perspective. And I'm trying to make sense of it. <laughs> trying to make sense of it. I don't know what's going on. What the wog? What dwog doing? <laughs> what dwog <the> doing? <laughs> okay, hey, what dwog doing? What dwog doing? Climb. Let's go here, I guess? The hideaway. The hideaway. Wait. Is there. Oh. Yeah, it was from Torgo's perspective. Okay, so I guess Torgal was able to escape and somehow Sid got Torgal. And then we're now here. We're being reunited with all of our old friends. The withered, the hideaway, the uh, strength, central storm deadlands, the withered rem remnants of a once verdant valley long consumed by the blight. One would have to be either extremely foolish or extremely desperate or an extremely desperate fool to make this wasteland their home. Sure, let's travel, I guess. Oh, we can tilt and rotate. This aesthetic of the world map reminds me of what Dio Field Chronicle kind of looks like. Storm, active time lore. Storm, the westerly 
of Valistia's two great continents. Okay, this is this is Western Elysium. With its frozen northern reaches, its temperate marshy midlands, and the searing heat of the south, it boasts a breadth of climes and cultures not seen anywhere else in the known realms. Okay. Storm and Ash make up the twin twins. The twins. Okay. Cool. Yo, mama, so big. <laughs> Oh, we're now in a very dark, grayish place. Storm. Okay. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. I like how the environments so far trees, are very no armist coated. No magic. Desert, Deadlands. Also means no neighbors. Wow! Don't Jill is getting, to like, a great ride right now. That sounded bad. I meant she was. She was. She's sitting on a chair being carried by the big boy. No, that sounded. Oh, no, 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 no. I. No. Octavio, I know. Octavio, dot, dot, dot. I know. I know. I'm disappointed in myself as well. Come on, okay? Okay? Stop it. I know. Chat, I know. Stop. Okay? Damn, Armis, you live like this. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That looks like a pre rendered PlayStation 1, you know, the nice looking concept art kind of thing. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? There was a Moogle? I didn't see the Moogle! How does anyone? Oh, everyone has a enough. mark on their cheek. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. I want to explore this place. It has Moogles. The music is nice as well. Ah, you. And this is the eh. moment. Why is someone from Nier Automata here? I was hoping you might give her a look over. Near replicant as well. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, but none will. Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. This is a freaking voice, though. Go on. Uh, Have a look around. Uh, uh, solar. Go on, Alan, along this side of the belt. I'm eating my apple. I'm eating my apple. Uh, eating apples. Hide, hide away. Uh, detailed map of your current area. You sound like a robot voice. You sound like an AI, Octavio. Apple, an apple a day. Keep the doctor away. Ugh. I smoke a lot. I, I am Octavio. I am from the Madlands. I am super badass. I have a double. <laughs> I'm actually inhaling while doing that. I'm not even exhaling. It's an inhale. Okay, chat. What if I audition to all the stars like this? Hey, all the stars. He's a soldier, then. I am auditioning yeah, for if he the wasn't part of the smell of war. Is thick out. Him. <clears throat> smell of war is thick. Yeah, go look for the Moogle. Yeah, I, I keep getting distracted. Wait. So the animal instincts is there. You know what? You know what I just for completely forgot about Uh huh Roll field of view Oh Oh, 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 oh. Let's get into the light 
No, 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 no. Bruh. Bruh. That's incredible looking. Ugh. Depth of field? No, we don't need a depth of field. Blur? Wait, those are the only options? Ah! Those are the only options? Thank you. Thank you. Thank God those are the only options because <laughs> I was... Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a thing. Okay. All right. Bro, this place is so nice. Ooh. Ooh. We can we can zoom in. How how far can we zoom into Clive? Thank you. Bruh. This is such a good freaking... It's so sharp. Although I don't typically like depth of field. But... It looks nice, though. Mm. Why is the blur so insane? <laughs> Zoom in the Giat area! <laughs> no. I don't even know what that is! <laughs> I don't know what your terms, guys. Your terms are like for... Giat Rizzler, what? I don't know. I don't understand these terms. Wait, wait, no, 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 let's, no, let's not get too distracted. I'm just, I'm gonna, wait, let's stop. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's explore. Let's find the Moogle. Let's find the Moogle. Uh, let's see. You're hungry, are you? What I want to do? My tough summer round here. I need to see oh. how how open this game gets. What I want to do in the future, especially for something like Final Fantasy XIV, I want to just do a photography stream. <clears throat> We're just gonna run around and just take cool pictures. That's it. No story, no nothing. Just chilling, lo fi music, and just taking pictures, right? I did something like that before. What I did before was I. You know how Final Fantasy XIV has those like shaders? I don't know, sweet effects or something? You know how people make certain different kinds of shading, reshade, or stuff like that? What I did was I took one specific reshade uh, preset and act as if that's like a roll of film, right? So I have like 30 something shots and just go around with just that one film stock, then just take pictures, you know? Something like that. <clears throat> I really want to go around 14 to do that. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> then you see a lot of people's designs and you know characters as well in their armor. And what I what I what happens was I was in Gridania and everybody just standing around the the mommy crystal, right? And sometimes they just have like the coolest formations. It's like they're in a uh what do you call it? A CD, like the cover of a CD. It's so cool. To make for good stream content? Yeah. Yeah! Like, maybe I, I want to do something like that in the future. I need to plan it more, though. <laughs> Surly Smith. <sighs> CDs. Wait, is that a D's nuts joke? CDs nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where was the Moogle? Some 
those old men did then. <laughs> is this a Moogle? That doesn't look like a Moogle. This guy? <laughs> I suppose I'll be needing a new sword. Is this a this doesn't look like a Moogle? Wait, is this supposed to be a little chocobo? <laughs> That's a very long Moogle. <laughs> cool. It's a long Moogle. Your brand, studious soul. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave. Oh, chickens! <laughs> Wait, in a world of chocobos, do you think chickens exist? Me be. Not until you've had your do you not think in the world of chocobos, the chickens evolved to become chocobos? You you went without? I'm sorry. Yes, they're right there. You got me. You got me. Oh, if it's green, yeah. Thank you, do. Sid once told me. The blight doesn't Who said that dwarf version of Chocobos? She once was. <laughs> She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Okay, it's a botanist. All right. Maybe Chocobos are like FF dodos. Oh, they're gonna get extinct. They're gonna go extinct if you put Gerard somewhere within. Five meters of them. Where the heck is the Moogle? Are you a Moogle? Uh, another newcomer. Jailer. You mind the rules round here, or our next ha! chat? I played Final Fantasy bars. 14. I know that J A O L is pronounced jail. Ha! Gotcha. I'm such a well-read person. That that word was only ever used in Final Fantasy 14, not ever ever elsewhere. Nope. Gowler. How about you? You think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely are we, August? Oh! Spoony Bard! When lightning struck, his yoke did break, his life his own again. With thunder's roll, he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. What do you think? I woke this morn. That's that's pretty cool, actually. It's pretty cool. Once there was a guy named Clive. He was being controlled by Octavio. Octavio's from another dimension. A dimension that Clive is not aware of. Where is Octavio if not the sub on the other side of a screen? When he's not out chasing rumors, it's up Clive there. doesn't know that he's being controlled. He doesn't have free will. He's just a video game character. But we love him nonetheless. He has his struggles in life. And will find his friends and his brother Joshua to kill him once again, maybe. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do any ledgers. Ledging. Anything but ledging. Yeah, this BGM is really nice. Okay, let's get to the, um... Let's get to my animal instincts! Yeah! My animal instincts tell me to go here! Wait, let me, let me check. Maybe there's something new that we can read? Hide hideaway. Promising sucker. Ah! <laughs> Sid welcomes Clive into his deadland sanctuary hidden deep within the ruins of a lost civilization. There, Clive discovers something that eluded him for nigh 13 years. Freedom. Wait, so this is an ancient structure. Need to speak with Blackthorn. Probably has something to do with the, with the icons, right? Idolons. Which dude? The Spoony Bard? The Alligans? Yoshi P. Stop it. 
Next next thing we're gonna be grinding for tombstones. Careful you. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. Okay, grandpa. Broom wielding bearer? He's a bearer, but he bears a broom. Oh, the old man, the legend. The legend man. The ledger that's legend. Okay. Damn, his magic's broom wielding? It's great. Hedwig's alive? The ledge lord. Stop it. Are you so funny? Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. Stop talking within one cent centimeter of the microphone. All right. That's I was not we allowed. Might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines, with orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? So, <laughs> your back is arching. Her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals Oh, I like how Clive's hair looks now. With that on I your love chop, it. my friend. We both know you won't be getting far. He's out of his emo face. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Yeah, he learned from Wade, exactly. He has a nice wavy hair now. Lots of it Wait, did Wade die? Lost. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. Preposterous. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve. Which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? I even like how the Enjoy lips us. are animated for Sid. Why is it so why is this game so good? What? When will my reflection show who I am inside? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is The there, rays were traced in that shot. I must walk my own path. Avenged. My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The phoenix is evil to win. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter. Okay, so this is gonna be Clive's count. thing. He doesn't know it was him. You're right. Bruh! The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. Yeah, who was a hooded guy too? Interested, you're right. You? It looked like a kid as well. It was really small. One of my small boy. sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here. He wants you so bad. <laughs> Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Eh? Another dominant of fire? Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Sounds like a fraud to me. Let's make ready then. Damn, we bonded over that glass of wine. Know, as well as oh, I love him. He's so cool. Why are you so cool? It's downstairs. Try not to get lost. Okay. See, I'm skipping because of how cool he is. Any treasure chests? Why are there no treasure chests? A 
Okay. <laughs> I just met Sid. S Sid. What, what was his name? What's Sid's last name? We got goats. <laughs> he sounds like me. It's so annoying. Goats, was it? Say yippee. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, this old nun's place. He he just has an accent. Oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you but we sound the same. Blackthorn first. A blacksmith. To the forge it is then. Sidolphus. Sidolphus. Oh wait, no, hold up. Sidolphus Telamon. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. So these nuts! Ha! Gotcha! Got him! Wait, I got something. I got something. What was that? Continental rum. A no noisum? A noisum? Noisum. Spirit better suited to stripping oil from a painter's canvas canvas than consumption. Grants overworked conscripts a few rare moments of sweet oblivion on their long, arduous sea journeys north from the continent. Okay. Uh we'll go to the blacksmith. Yeah. We're gonna give him some some alcohol. And it'll make us anything we want for free. What if I am? Well, no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sir to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be a goddess Grieger to a holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? <laughs> Let's hand it over. Hmm. Yeah, everyone has deep voices. Everyone has deep, somber voices. Let's do it. Let's roll a d20. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Damn you, goots. I have a bottle of sriracha here. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. Damn. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They're Where's the Moogle? You guys say, say you saw a Moogle. I didn't see it. I'll do what I can. As Are you guys gaslighting me? Mind. Was there an actual Moogle? There is? There was? Where was it? The crafting of new gear, as well as upgrading of existing gear, can be done at a blacksmith as long as you have the recipe and the proper materials. Select a highlighted item from the list and hold X to craft or upgrade. There is? Iron belt. More leather than iron. Don't blame your blindness on us. <laughs> He's in the fat chocobo? He's in the fat chocobo? More leather than iron. It is nonetheless more leather than iron. Considered an improvement from the crude cording worn by Akerman and Acolytes. Okay. Uh, we gave him rum so he can give us an you iron belt. Else, okay. You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Emmet Selk? Thank you. A uh, uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Oh, it wasn't a cutscene, but you won't meet it until a little later. Ugh. So I missed it? God damn it. When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock updates for Karen's tool and new forging recipes for the Black Hammer, there are also notices for new. Oh, a bloop icon will also appear in game as well as on the local map to indicate recent updates. I suppose I should think goods. Goods. Wait, so that this means he has a new thing? Well, but I ain't the cook, am I? Oh. Oh, it's not full voice acting. Okay, <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for him to talk, but apparently not. So if you tasted Kenneth's brown, I might as well be Kenneth's brown. Look, 
What in the Nintendo? Need a smith, I need a smith. They call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt that the forge here is the hottest this side of hell or that it works without magic. I won't have no bearer suffering for me. You got anything needs repairing? Uh, you bring it here along with your own materials and any scraps left over I keep. Okay, use the forge. Let's see if we can make anything. Rod sword, iron bracer. Sure, let's make this. Though little more than crude leather straps reinforced with even cruder iron plates. Boundless tales of dexterous doers of daring, deftly deflecting... Whoa! Boundless tales of dexterous doers of daring, deftly deflecting Dorlex and redirecting dints with naught, but these wristlets have made the equipment a popular choice for those who dream of being a hero but currently lack for the monetary means. Freaking... That sentence was made for Dopio Drop Scythe. Here, lost you it's my one. That it. Okay. Fine. Um. Um. Can I wear you? Am I already wearing you? What? What does this mean? Oh, it should be here. Iron bracers. Iron belt. Okay. Yeah, because of all the D's. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to goats. And let's see if we can you know, get this quest you have my over with today. We'll, we'll see. I, uh, 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 the D's man? D's nuts! <laughs> Got him! DDDXP? P's nuts! Got him! You, blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> yeah, this pain voice is next level. Alright. Curmudgeon. You comfortable while a bed's made up. His name is Curmudgeon or what? Well. You're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see. Stop if it! I you sound like me. There. I don't want to hear my voice. Wait, me. Wait, what are we doing? I thought we were gonna fight an icon of fire. What the hell have I got myself into? Speak with the man tending to the beavers. The beavers? A be bearers. Beavers. Oh, you talk to beavers. There are no beavers here. Is it? Wait, is this the guy in the town? Who are they? Huh? They're freed imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? Shit. You can find your way up them stairs. Justin the Beaver, way. stop it. We need tire. <laughs> well, go on. Shift your ass. Yeah. They're bossing me around. Was Tari the one looking after Jill? Yay, let's speak with Taria. The beavers. Very interesting. Yay, we finally speak to uh Taria. Your Damn, her eyes though. Look at those smoldering There'll eyes. Time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? I did say so. Yeah. It's kind of like a smoldering devil of Popola. He's going to be all right. But I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Her voice is... My work's just begun. This place looks so nice. No, the trauma. Another fine Too soon. Day the hideaway. Too many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state. It's no easy thing. Everybody's speaking from the diaphragm, man. Pluck up the courage. 
They're already too far gone. Everybody's speaking from the chest in this game. The, the name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Oh, thank you, Otto. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Okay, this is getting right. to know the people, I guess. Getting to know oh. the land, getting to know the place. And thanks. Getting to know the features. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. Oh, you're we supposed to do together. that. You just speak from the chest. Like this. Yeah, Goats doesn't. Goats is just... Ha <laughs> ha These nuts! Side quests unlock. Yippee! yippee ki -yay! I love me some side quests. Keep an eye out for the green icon above the heads of certain NPCs. These indicate they have a quest to offer. After accepting a quest, quest objectives will appear in the to-do list located on the right side of the screen. Objectives... Blah, blah, blah. Any quest can be prioritized on the journal tab. Okay. Alright. The following hideaway facilities are also now available. The Thousand Tomes, an ever-growing compendium of all things Valisteia? Yes! And the Orchest- The Orchestrion is here as well?! The personal jukebox for songs collected throughout the game. Both are located in the Hideaway's eatery. The Fat Chocobo... Oh, and can be found on the local map by pressing- oh, These people. Bruh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're- We're at the point where we're getting side quests. Make do and mend food for thought. Oh no. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Where was the thing? How do we get to the lore thing? We found the lore. Where's the lore? I'm gonna a food for thought. Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like. Oh, that's a lore boy. The wizened man. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you? New I like to your beard. Away, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. Harp I am Harpocrates the second Hyperboreus. Hypocrates uh, the second Hyperboreus. <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes, on account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? He also talks from the chest. I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles. Bijou? But of stories. Baubles? The history and culture of these, these words. isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. Okay, I'll view the thousand tomes. Let's do it. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. God damn, he's teasing me with a good time. He's teasing me with books. Covering everything from basic terms to important persons. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Why is your voice so nice and crunchy? You wish to study what? the tomes? Amateur analyst. <laughs> it's wondrous tales! Oh, bro. Bro. Dominant. What is prime? Bro! I love it. I love that they're related topics. Those within whom sleeps the power of an icon, though they look and think no differently to any other man or woman, they can all cannot only cast elemental magics without a crystal, but also transform themselves into beasts of world shattering strength at any moment. Quality for which they are honored, worshipped, and feared the realm over. Okay. Beaver? Icon. Yeah, I love it. Priming? What does that mean? Icon. Magical beings of godlike strength who dwell within human hosts known as dominants. Only emerging when the dominant primes. History records eight icons in total, each with a unique elemental affinity. It is common. Eight icons? It is eight. Oh, we got Ifrit. We got. I wonder if history also records Ifrit. Phoenix, Shiva, Titan. I don't know the others. It is commonly held that two icons of the same element cannot coexist. 
But as none has ever witnessed all of these rare creatures together, the conjecture is yet to be proved. <laughs> what is priming though? Priming is the act of a dominant transforming their living flesh into that of their icon. Oh, that's what it's called, priming. When you, when you become a titan, basically. Most often prime during times of war, using the immense strengths of their icons to turn the tides of battle. Though it is usually done deliberately, the dominant remaining in control of the icon even when primed. On occasion, a dominant will lose control of their powers. Ah, I see. I see. Do they bite their hands? <laughs> to turn into a freaking <laughs> Titan? Probably not since all of them were surprised with Ifrit. Yeah. Maybe Ifrit isn't part of it. Beaver. And butthead. <laughs> uh, permanent power to cast magics without a crystal. Okay. Men and women who awaken as bearers are enslaved. Oh. Wait. So that means Clive is also a bearer? He doesn't need a crystal, right? They are marked with a brand upon their chicken used as tools. A cheaper alternative to scars and precious shards. This system of slavery has persisted for centuries and has become so ingrained in Valisthe and life that few take pity upon the bear's plight. Huh. He was branded as a beaver when he was... I was... Okay. Oh, all right, all right. Right, because he has the freaking blessing of the phoenix. And he's probably the dominant of Ifrit. And Sunbrek was like, oh, he can use magic. He's a beaver. Right? Battle of Nysa. The Battle of Nysa was a short yet bloody clash between the Iron Republic and the Republic of Dalmechia in the year 873. Is this, this is the battle that happened in the cutscene, right? So th it's currently 873. For the love Justin Bieber. <laughs> the Dalmechians hoping to force an end to their long running conflict with the Iron Blood had convened a council. Oh, so it's currently 873. Okay. At a Zernitra stronghold and entreated their wallowed or allies to aid them in their cause. <laughs> Bro. However, talk soon broke down and Dalmechians were left with no choice but to rely once more on the power of the mighty Titan, to whom they already owed a considerable debt. Thus was the stage set for a showdown between Titan and Shiva, the Iron Blood's own icon, in which losses on both sides were too many to come. Yeah, this happened happened like today. So they literally made this news article and posted it on Reddit. <laughs> Or something. And it's there. Baron Wastes Bereft. Oh, it's on Twitter. This is Twitter. This is Schwitter. Final Fantasy Sixteen Schwitter. Baron Wastes Bereft of Ether, where no life stirs and magic is all but unusable. Here, both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years, the blight has... Oh. Driving once peaceable fauna to... Oh, so the Deadlands are... Stained by bl the blight? Okay. This is where Armis lives. In the Deadlands. Sid's hideaway. A refuge hidden in the blighted lands of Central Storm. From which Sid operates his secretive community of freed bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, a combination of near indestructible fallen ruins and considerable ingenuity... Yeah, this is a freaking nice looking place. Where those who. This is better than my house! So their leaders are only just about able to eke out an albeit meager existence. Okay. Bro, this is a lot of lore. Bro, this is a lot of lore! Wah! Jesus! Okay. This is great. Um, You sent us some Walud. Is there a 3D reveal here? No? There's no 3D model viewer? Commander of the Kingdom of Wallowald's elite intelligence, Sars, who sits by her liege's side at the highest table of state. Most recently in their negotiations with the Dalmex at the Zerner Trust stronghold. I don't understand what I just read. Wait. Commander of the Kingdom of Wallowald's elite intelligence, Sars who sits by her liege's side at the highest tables of state. 
Most recently in their negotiations with the Dalmex at the Zernitra Stronghold. I sound like a nerd. But Barnabas is not the only one with whom she shares a special bond. Benedicta also has eyes and ambitions for Kugo Kapka. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. You usually just stop it. Shut up. Uh, I want to know more about Tarya. Damn. This is like Devil of Popola coding. Resident Physiker of Sid's Hideaway. Tarya is an expert in all manner of medicines and medical interventions. See, that's easy. Easy to say. Skills that are indispensable in their deadland home where they cannot call on healing magics. After Sid brings an unconscious Jill back to the hideaway from his expedition to the Nice of the File, she's placed in Atarius' care. That's easy enough. How about the King of Walloway? Ah, oh, the aloof and unsh- Oh, this is Barnabas. Oh, Benedicta has a thing with Barnabas Starmer. First of his name. Few can meet his steely gaze without flinching. Eh! Yamete well, Night Lord Commander, he doesn't have a name. He has a braid! That's me! I guess. Hi. Hello. You've been... This is a Mandela effect. Hi. What's up? Hey. I'm not Octavio. It's Oivatko. What's up? Hey guys, it's Oivatko. Nai and the Oipulent, Oiktatonic, Oiparatic, Puppeteer. Of Bounty Hunter Unit Ormus of Holo Stores Onglush. What's up, guys? <laughs> We're playing Final Fantasy 16. I don't sound like a nerd. Hope you guys enjoy my stream. I'm Oivatko. Alright. Let's go to Blackthorn here. Blackthorn, resident blacksmith of Sid's Hideaway. A sullen and secretive sort, who prefers to drown his woes and drink than to share them. Ah! Why, hello, people in chat. My oiktopoisoi. Hope you guys are having a fun time. My poipits. Ah, oh, you got. My poipits are great. I have no boy with my poipits. Right? Oh, goats! One of Sid's trusted allies. A gentle giant who has a warm, warm, warm word for everyone. Come on. You poi puts are great. Huh. You guys are so chill. What a chill stream. Huh. Otto. Chief steward of Sin's Hideaway. Who manages a day-to-day -day running of their operation. In his friend's stead. Sid often being taken far and away by his bear bee ba bearer. Be, be, bear, beaver, be, bear, beaver, be, be, beaver, beaver liberating activities. Even when Sid is at home, he prefers to leave with busy work to Otto, much to the hard pressed purser's indignation. <laughs> Pretty cool. Sidolphus Telamon, cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of Nysa Defile. Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and spirited him and Jill away to secret hideaway in the Deadlands. Pretty cool. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, Octavius, I've been here the whole time. What are you talking about? I've been here the whole time. You see, I'm the one that understands you. Been here all along. Can't you see me? Nah, what, what am I saying? Taylor Swift sucks. I hate Taylor Swift. Who the heck is that? Right? I only like, um... Uh, Lincoln Park. Is it Lincoln Park's birthday today? <laughs> Who cares about Taylor Swift, bruh? 
Yeah. Blech. Whatever, right? Who cares? He's made what? One good song? Blech. I hate it. I hate it so much. Well, our Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo are great. Ha <laughs> ha! Taylor Swift sucks, man. He sucks. Taylor, I love Taylor Swift. She's great. <laughs> oh boy. I personally enjoy that. Back on Phoenix Gate, she raced to Clive's rescue, saving him from a certain death at the cost of an eye. A price she gladly paid. Thank you, Ambrosia. Thank you so much. He's my royal steed and raised by him from a chick. She's a proud bird and deeply loyal to her master, quickly turning her beak upon any but he who should attempt to pet her. Bro, let's read about Torgal. <laughs> Clive's faithful friend now fully grown. Aw. After the tragic events at Phoenix Gate, Clive believed that Torgal was lost to him forever. However, their paths were to cross again some 13 years later, when Torgal's new master, Sid, came to Clive's rescue in depths of the Nice of the file. Despite their long years apart, the two knew each other as if not a single day had passed since their separation. Oh, look at Targo! He's so cute! He's so cute! My god! Why is he so cute? Oh, I hate animals. What? Torgo sucks. I hate him so much. Why do they spend so much time making motto for Torgo? Ah, I love him so much! I love him. So cute! Go, Jill Warwick. Dominant of Shiva and Clive's childhood friend in the depths of Nysa Defile. The two came to blows at the orders of the armies that enslaved them. Jill fighting to defend the priests of the Iron Kingdom. Clive obeying the Empire's orders to take Yodele. Yodele. Okay. Uh, take the head of sh Okay. Exhausted from her tilt with Titan, Jill came close to falling to her assassin's blades, but was spared at the last moment when Clive's memories of their time together came flooding back. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. We read Jill earlier. When she was when she waved the brothers' farewell on the day they departed for Phoenix Gate, little did she know the misfortune that awaited both them and her. Then we got Joshua. Upon the night of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate, the shock of seeing his father slain before his disbelieving eyes led him to him losing control of his icon and setting the castle alight. From the flames rose a second icon of fire, whose murderous rampage laid both the castle and the Phoenix low. Then we got our boy, and it as Imperial deserter. Oh, oh, they have different like. Ah, I see, I see. Anyway, we're we're already watching Clyde's story. You know what? Okay, I need to I need to balance all this lore with actual gameplay. <laughs> I, I I need to do that. I'm sorry. We need to balance it. We still have a stream to do. But let's do this side quest first. Ah, a new face. And dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding man. Usually so games don't have ATLs like that. <laughs> you to deliver a meal or Ooh, is this curry? In need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring <laughs> What? I thought she, she said strong box and just looked at his mom. Help keep the fat chocobo running? I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Why are you so classy? Now, Bowl of I brown, no! Customers awaiting their victuals. Yes, this is Kenneth's Please brown! And be careful. This is what they were talking about. Hot. Okay. Let's prioritize this quest. Has it been? Okay, serving you your meal, good sir. I hope you like my brown. <laughs> it. Your food. <laughs> I was hoping it might be. Well, it doesn't look like he likes fine. it. 
Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. Why, thank you, good sir. I hope you like my brown. It's Being very, very brown. August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Yeah. They really don't oh, like it. My thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting <laughs> Yeah, <to serve laughs> someone had him a gunpoint to say he liked it. You're right. Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. Oh. And a mighty What a sweet grandpa. It. So they're just living here, right? Chasing rumors, sits up there in that hole they're literally... They don't need to do anything. They don't need to... Do missions or I don't know. Find dominance or something. They're just here. They're just living. They're free, I guess. So to speak. Look at his hair, though! There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Nerr. Uh, your food. <laughs> just a moment. I need to finish this. He likes his book. Won't be a burden. He likes his lore. No use to anyone as I am. Kind of like Maybe someone I know. <laughs> I can master this. All right, All right. See that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Read the lore to me. Read the lore of your world. Moment. Okay, we served we served the food. We are the dominant of Ifrit and we're serving food. Just as Keikaku. I wouldn't have it any other way. All done, I presume. Split. <laughs> yeah, I didn't spend the last twenty minutes in the super lore. Three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please. And to eat what and when we How do desire. they get supplies? You're right. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision. Wait, say. they did say they... Were they... I promised you they're able to grow trouble, apples. Did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you This will. better not be some weird shit. Thank you, Clyde. Kenneth, my, Kenneth, my guy. visit me again, won't you? This better not be your brown. That's complete. Okay. Food for thought. Yeah. What? Just... Rocks? Oh, finally a treasure chest! Okay! Ah! I love it! Badge of metal. Badge of metal. Where is it? Where is it? Badge of metal. The strength of a city is defined by the guard that mans its walls. The strength of a city guard is defined by the pride in their hearts and the laurels on their breasts. This badge provides its wearer with one of the two. Let's wear it. Defense by 10. All right. Let's see. Can I save the game? Or is this, is this autosave? I guess I can save, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, we have been streaming for five hours and ten minutes, but I think, I believe, yeah, that, it'd be so terrible if I didn't save the game, save the game. Oh, man. Good thing I saved the game. <laughs> ah, yeah, this is the part where it's a bunch of side quests. I guess during the next part, we can do more side quests, then we can finally do the main story, okay? Oh, that was five hours? Yeah. And I'm tired as well. I I came home at 3 a.m. this morning. Yeah, this is the first. This is my first time saving. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> K 
Can you please head to the apple tree? Where is the apple tree? Okay, one last request. Where is the apple tree? That you are talking about? Good progress? Yeah, great progress. So I'll be playing this game definitely once a week until we finish it. This is the apple tree. <sighs> this whole place is falling apart. Jeff Roy. Jeff Roy. There's the boy. Jeff Roy. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. We'll be needing more wood. Let's just do this. Step away to fetch Quick. This lot will be down around our ears. Because honestly, I still want to play more. But also, I do believe that uh, it's there. already like what Perfect 3 a.m., 4 a.m. for some people. <laughs> so I think we can we can call it a day for now. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. This guy's buff. It's certainly look at him. like you've got your hands full. Why is he so buff? Uh, you can say that again. The fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even I wonder who the fallen are. Forever. I I, I need to read that in the lore books. Sure up. Can't have in the, the nerd books. In the nerd tomes. Now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where Is can breast I find this wood? Ask over at the They fell, house. of course. They'll point you in the wrong They place. fell, they're the fallen. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. The nerd kives. Okay, I'll prioritize that. Thank you. <clears throat> ah! It's a mogul! Ah! Ah! There it is! Can I talk to you? Hello? There it is! Okay, that's that's a place to stop. Guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna. Let's... All right, we're with the Moogle. Now, everybody, say. Wait. Uh, uh... Oh, Tatavio. Uh, Kupo. Kupo. Let's say Kupo. 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 Thank you. All right, Kupo. Thank you guys for watching. It was a nice stream. Who can we raid? Is there anybody streaming right now? Hey, Koopo, 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 Koopo. Who is streaming? Is anybody streaming? Who can we raid? Gerard is streaming. Is he still streaming? I guess he is. Let's go ahead and raid Gerard T. Rexford, the scary. Oh, Evie, thanks so much. I'm not enduring streamer plays if you can stream for five hours. <laughs> How you approach the other? Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, if I really like a game, I can play it the whole day if I want to. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, I love this game so much. I can't wait to get more into the weeds of it. Right? Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and let's see each other again and again until infinity. Goodbye. Just kidding. Let me control you. <laughs> yeah.